see my dudes. <laughs> Have a Wednesday, guys. Have a Wednesday. Hello. Hello, hello. Can I hear myself? No. Don't think I'm going. Just my own demons inside my head that I can hear. <laughs> Good. <laughs> How are we doing? Good day, Loz. Loz, happy Wednesday. Happy first as well. Drunk, hello, I would not even. Good morning. Blood, good morning. Fog, good morning. How are we doing? I do have hair again. I do. I do. Yesterday. Yesterday it was gone. I might go away again if you want. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Battletail. Good morning, everybody. Alundra, good morning. How are you doing this morning, Alundra? <laughs> Who, who is smoking? Why do they never actually drink that coffee? Well, if you look closely, well, if you get your, if you get your weed sensors out, um, the starting soon screen actually has a has a lot of anime references for you to spot while you wait for me to <laughs> wait for me to come on. So, uh, so if you look carefully, you might be able to tell who's not been drinking that coffee or tea. Good morning, Herbal. Good morning, good morning. I'm cleaning through my stomach before. Oh, what are you having? What are you having? I had for breakfast. I had a hot cross bun. I'm getting in the spring mood. I'm getting, I'm, it's Easter. It's not my birthday. See, I was worried. I was worried when I put the title as happy birthday, grandma. I was worried that you guys would think it was my birthday. It's not my birthday. Um, it's because we're today we're playing Incredible Crisis. We're playing Incredible Crisis, which is a game, essentially, we are a Japanese family. We're every single member of a Japanese family, and it's Grandma's birthday today. And we are trying to get home from our lives, from our jobs, to in order to celebrate Grandma's birthday with her. So I put the, put the title as Grandma's birthday. I was worried you'd think it was my birthday, though. Ooh, ribs with potatoes. What kind of potatoes? Um, mashed? Boiled? Stewed? Was. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it is a, um, it's a very wacky, very wacky game. Um, I did start it up. Oh, I've got Final Fantasy in there. I'm the type of, I don't want to put my discs back in their boxes. I'm the type of person that just oh if I'm playing if I'm playing this game I'll just take the game that I've left in the console out and put it in this. <laughs> I'm that terrible terrible person. I still pretend it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Grandma! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, my children. Thank you. It says totally original, made, made app game play. Twenty-four completely different games on one disc. Addictive pickup and place gaming, hilarious animated storyline, linking games together. Then do we have anything exciting? We've got some health warning and precautions. For your health, rest about 15 minutes each hour of play. <laughs> do you remember when the Wii used to come up with a warning every like, uh, was it every hour to, uh, you know, turn it off for like 10 minutes? I like how Nintendo gave up on that. I'd rather steal that game and play it on the emulator. Oh, sometimes emulators don't do it. What, do you play like um, updated graphics on an emulator or do you go with uh, like original kind of, original um, like CRT quality? I didn't go, because I didn't ever been on Discord this morning. I am, um, I had, <laughs> my, <laughs> this is just really hammering in that I'm a grandma and that it is grandma's birthday today. Um, no, my joints were really painful last night, so I didn't even finish, I didn't even fix piss camera, but I think piss camera is now non-piss camera. Just, because clearly, clearly God willed it, so we've no longer got piss camera. <laughs> A little nugget. I'll sit up here for today. A little nugget. I got it to write a sonnet. Oh. Is it like full sonnet, like proper, um, proper syllable stanza? Has it passed the Shakespearean test, Galax? I'll make sure to look at it. I'll make sure to look at it tonight. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. I was making sure I got the correct time of day. 
just a hint of piss. A little bit of piss. Um, avoid playing when tired <laughs> or suffering from lack of sleep. Always play in a brightly lighted room. We got that. And stay as far away from the television screen as possible. I used to like playing games as close as possible because it felt like I was in the game. If I could get my eyes close enough to the TV, I was I was there, you know? Um Okay, flashing lights. Uh consult your doctor before playing a game. Uh stop immediately if you have symptoms of dizziness, altered vision, muscle twitching. Okay. <laughs> and or convolutions. Okay. I'll make sure I stop playing the game if I start having convolutions. Okay, here's an introduction to the game. One day, an incredible crisis happens to an ordinary farm family. Father, Tanio, mother, Etsuko, daughter, Ririko, and son, Tsuyoshi. The grandmother, Hatsu, and a dog, Pesu. You play the game as Tanio, Etsuko, Ririka, or Tsu, uh, Tsuyoshi, trying to help them get home for grandma's birthday party from a place where he or she is. Each story is independent, yet linked in a small way with another. When finishing the stages, you will find various puzzles in each story, and the overall story, take a shot every time they say story, will slowly start to unravel, continuously destructive, with interesting dangers, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. The stories are all unique, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. A great entertainment game with thrilling action, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. You are the one to open a crisis. Ridden can of worms. It is an incredible crisis, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, and a rather beautiful picture that you guys might not be able to see. That's it. Thrilling. An incredible crisis. An incredible game! War. <laughs> it's about badges, windmills, and tentacles. Gullocks. I'm looking forward to reading it. I bet I'm going to be very upset if it's not full Shakespearean as well. Mm. If you could choose their names, you could name them after the Spice Girls. Unfortunately, I think they do come with their names. Oh, was it? It was run at GDQ. How fast did they do it? Pro, you have a wonderful look. You have a wonderful look and a wonderful sleep. Um, I don't think there's anything... There's lots of French on the back. I will now read the instruction manual. <laughs> It does, it does have a lot of alerts. It does. <laughs> God looks thank you. It's a lot of don't play if you've got convolutions. Stop playing. I'm 55 minutes. Oh, we can do that. <laughs> so we've got a bit of a... Um... Hang on. We've got an interview with all of the characters. Do you guys want to read the interview after the stream? Franny, thank you so much for the follow, Franny. Welcome in. Should we read the interviews after, or do we want to read the interviews before? Oh, you finally kicked the nap in habit. Is it? Is it the coffee loss? Is it the sheer amount of coffee that you're ingesting? Um, I think we'll read it. I think we'll read them afterwards. We could read them now. I don't know. Before kind of makes sense. All right, we'll read them. Now. Right. So we've got Tanio Tan Tanomats uh, Tanomatsuri. My crisis. Mr. West, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Mr. West, are you feeling any better today? So, he is uh, being chased by a big iron ball. He is 47 years old. Wrong side of 40. He's got the blood type A. I don't actually know what my blood type is. No one's ever told me. When I was in the first grade at elementary school, I felt stress for the first time. I was the shortest in the class, and I had many difficulties each and every day. 
The hardest time was in exercise class because I had to get along with others in a meaningless situation. Someone, someone, I would need the tiny violin. It is around then that I gradually started to escape from reality. Since then, my mottos are victory in defeat, victory in running away, and victory in giving up. My entire life has been without distinction. So many times I have thought how I want to behave proudly and I want to get ahead because a man has to shine and a man has to succeed. Finally, the time came while being chased by a, a great big noisy iron ball. I was so excited that it, de I developed, it developed into a passion that I became accustomed to. You have to understand my feelings. I was shaking with excitement while running away laughing. Escape is a place dear to my heart. My home comforts me. Paradoxically, on one hand, I am in a crisis situation. On the other, my mind becomes crystal clear. Incredible crisis! Exclamation mark. Is the pinnacle moment of my cowardly history, my great destiny. Please watch carefully for various interesting crises. Beautiful. My blood type is red. My blood type is human. My blood type is boiling. Are they related to class family? <laughs> yeah, I think distant relatives. <laughs> This one's actually Genova. Oh, is that the rarest loss? Maybe a rare boy. Sad dad story. Right, are you ready for a sad mom story? Etsuko. So, she uh, she is 40 years old. Her blood type is also O. Loss. If I had to choose one word for my life, it would be involvement. Yes! Involvement is exactly the right word for the marriage to my current husband. <laughs> oh, we get in, we get in the details of their sordid fucking affair. To my current husband, Tanio. The reason I say current is because it's my second marriage. <gasps> oh! oh my goodness! Second marriage. <laughs> Thank you very much, Craig. Happy Windy Wednesday, Craig. Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> Ririka is the daughter of my ex-husband. Tsuyoshi is the son of Tan and I, who I married ten years ago. It was not a sweet, deep love, but I decided to marry him anyway. And although I can't tell you any more of the story, it's one of the results of the involvement. In spite of that, while most people look for pleasure in life, why did I choose a poor man? I couldn't say. Maybe I'd already given up on the dream and romance at that time. People live in a sequence of accidents. It was an accident when I went to that bank that time. It is also an accident that I can ride on a snowboard without any practice. In addition, it's one more accident that I can control a jet fighter. Accidents are the involvement of life. Involvement is a crisis. Crisis is a symbol of life. And a word for all of you who will get involved with me in this game. Involvement is fun. <laughs> Very dark turn. Right. Ririka has a very, very fun, very sad picture. I, I don't know whether she might be a bit overexposed. She's, she's frowning. She's sad. She's not happy to be there. Um, she's 17. Blood type B. Google AI Bard hardly recommends incredible, highly recommends Incredible Crisis if you're looking for unique, fun, unique and challenging game to play. <laughs> Does it have any, um, what does, like, what does the AI think of, uh, like, AAA games, Gullix? It is often said, so this is the, this is the daughter from the previous marriage. It is often said that people's destiny is predetermined, and I have felt this recently, but I never contemplated seeing a UFO's child. Do you believe a UFO would have a child? I could never imagine such a thing. It has nothing to do with my will, so it means that it is determined by destiny. 
There is also there is a nasty old man at my part-time job. Everyone hates him and wants to put him in his place. Surprisingly, his house was crushed by my stuffed toy. I felt a little sorry for him. But I told him, it's your destiny. Can you think of any other reason why a stuffed animal would crush a house? I can't. Shame on me, but I can't stop laughing. By the way, my father is Tanio. Not... No, oh no, not Tanio. I can't tell anyone he is my father. I'm so ashamed. I used to ask myself, why does he have to be my father? But nowadays, I can see that it is my destiny. Anyway, Incredible Crisis is pretty deep, but great fun. This is a Wendy's man. So I think maybe the guy at the part-time job is her real dad, maybe? Alright, and now we've got the, the son. He's nine. His blood type's O. I am good at facing adversity. I'm often told that I'm strong-minded or I'm too grown up for my age. Some people say I'm impudent, but don't be fooled by appearances. I can guess why I'm in the game Incredible Crisis since I became a little famous. I am seriously thinking about which hairstyle makes me look cool, but my mother has cut my hair without my permission. One of my best attributes is low blood pressure. My pulse is pretty slow and blood sugar level is low too. So it's really convenient for me because I don't have to worry about taking too much salt. I think I'm this- I think this is me. My- uh, my pulse is pretty quick and my blood sugar level. I'm, I don't have to worry about taking too much salt because my blood pressure is really low. My sister, Ririka, says that I have an original personality. That's what people say about me as well. They usually say it when they're scowling at me though. It's weird. But I have no idea what she means. The things that make me different from others are I like dull or rusty stuff. And I don't like showy stuff. My favorite food is jelly beans. I like their taste, color, and weight. I also like sea slugs and small fish. The word calcium sounds good to me. It sounds cool. I was really surprised when I became smaller, but I didn't feel scared because I sang songs all the time. I think I'm a good singer. <laughs> I think this kid is me. The coolest haircut is a mohawk. Oh, he, he hasn't got a mohawk, unfortunately. His mum gave him a bowl cut, which, you know, is in style now, so, you know, really, he shouldn't be moaning. I want to be a big star in the future. One of my dreams is to have a great feast for my fans. I will write a message. Drop dead, Tsuyoshi, at a signing. It, does he want his dad to fucking die? Oh, no, that's him. He wants to drop dead. Oh, let's not look into that too much. And um, we have uh, we have now Grandma. Grandma's very cute. Grandma's, Grandma's there. She's very cute. Little old lady. She's 80 years old. She's got a blood type AB. I, to tell you the truth, since I am 80 years old, I would like to celebrate my birthday at a health spa rather than with a cake. Lovely. That's all she had to say. And then we've got Pesu, which is the dog. He doesn't have an age, nor a blood type. And he just says, Bow wow, bow wow wow, bow wow, wow bow. Woo woo. Beautiful, beautiful words. Um, I think that might, that, oh, a little bit of a tear came to my eye just then. Beautiful. Oh, he thinks the phrase drop dead sounds cool and he doesn't understand what it means in English. Oh, so I think this is be like some of the translation is a little bit, um, a little, a little bit, a little, yeah, yeah, tell it isn't great. Those words have changed my life. <laughs> Grandma went to school with me. She, she's weirdly enough, she, no, she's too old. She's too old. Hey, Mike. Mike, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in. You've called us. You've called us just before we started the game. I was about to. I was about to kick it. Kick. Kick it up. That's not a saying. That didn't sound very cool of me. Welcome in, raiders. Mike, what were you playing? What were you retroing today? 
Welcome in, welcome in, son. Ravana, welcome in. Payla, welcome in. And M, I see you, M. How you doing, M? Good morning, good morning. DC, hello, good morning. Have fun with the game. I was playing Oldemar Underworld and it was fun. Oh, what kind of game is what kind of game is Oldemar? We're, we're kicking it up. Steve. Unlucky for some, mainly me for being here this long CBT jam. Don't tell the Raiders that, Steve. <laughs> Steve, thank you so much. Thank you so much for 30 months. I say it's always the lucky month. It's always the lucky. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. See, how's your Wednesday going? And G Funk, welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. We are playing um, The Incredible Crisis today, um, original PlayStation game. And you've, you've come in just at the right time to see the beginning of the game. TV Prime, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you very much. I'm going to head off to bed. This Thron, you have a wonderful sleep. Thank you for coming in with the raid. You have a lovely sleep, a lovely Wednesday. Oh, it's an under... Is a FPS dungeon delving... Ooh, FPS dungeon delving experience from 1992 is technically impressive and very fun. I was... I was just thinking that there aren't many, like, um... Dungeon delving like 1992 is pretty early. I'm thinking of the other games that came out around that time, like what some of the some of the King's Quest games, and they're pretty basic. Someone developed the 3D engine for it and sold it to Origin, or which then retrofit them to the Ultra U Ultima universe. I know this game. I've seen it before. I know this game. I wouldn't have guessed 1992 though. I looked it up on Google. I've seen it. I'd never would have guessed 1992. Looks good. But you know, I you know it's not like not like Cyberpunk 2077 when I say oh it looks good. But <laughs> it does look good. What would I have guessed? Oh, maybe 1998, maybe late 90s rather than early 90s. I don't know, it would depend how it played exactly. But I would have gone for late 90s, I guess. Oh, is it? <laughs> Do you use Stream Beats? I fucking love Stream Beats. I love this, like, it's just, it's such good synth music that is copyright free and it doesn't feel like it's copyright free. Great. This is the period of Wolfenstein 3D. Doom wasn't until 1994 and that wasn't true 3D. Yeah, I was thinking, um, because I played a, I haven't played any, um, games like this. I usually, uh, I'm usually point and click. Trying to think what King's Quest would have come out around 1992. Oh, would it have been. Oh, King's Quest 6. King's Quest 6 did look pretty pretty. Pretty pretty? Did look pretty nice. It's the one with Alexander. Is it the one with um, Cedric? It's the one with. It's Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. No, Mike. Mike. You take it easy. You take it easy. It's pretty late for you. You have a wonderful. I didn't even. It might even be Thursday now for you, right? You take it easy. You have a wonderful Wednesday, Thursday. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for the raid. It is Thursday, yeah. No, you have a wonderful Thursday then. Tell, tell me if anything bad happens in the future, okay? 12, 27, Thursday. Wednesday's only just started for me. I feel like I've only just woken up. Equella Star, good morning. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 came in at 992? Have I just got a really warped perception of what came... I'm just going to be looking up games from 1992. Do I underestimate? Oh my god. I'm looking up Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and all that is coming up is the Sonic the Hedgehog movie number 2. All of this... The creepy Sonic. Right, are you guys ready to are you guys ready to play a game from um 
probably the 90s. No, 2000. Probably the 90s. I should have, I, are you ready for the crisis? The crisis is me not knowing when this came out. Plus, you have a wonderful look. You have a lovely look. 1999! 1999! 1999! Right. Why are my hotkeys? This one works. This one works. Why do none of my hotkeys work? Excuse me? I've got it on the wrong. Okay, that's my fault. That's my bad. I'm ill prepared. Hockey's who? My parents have come over to Data Village to visit Tali. Oh, they bought her beef flavored rawhide chew. She loves it so much. <gasps> she doesn't try to escape the gated area where I got when I got coffee. <laughs> She's gonna be at that for hours, Fog. Around it for hours. Oh, it's not. It's not my birthday. It's Grandma's birthday. I mean, I know I'm grandma, but... <laughs> Hi, grandma, I'm dad. Thrills. You have to let me know if it's too loud as well. Might be a little bit loud. Can I go home now, though? Someone wants to tell my boss. And just get the shits. Get the shits and you can go home. Speed! Maybe on the quiet side? I don't know if I can turn it up for you. We'll see how it is in the game. Family values! Are we gonna cheat on our- Oh, we gonna cheat on our wife? Hot spelling. This sounds like F. <laughs> Incredible crisis. I saw that one coming in. I was looking forward to that. It looks thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, nice. We get to have an affair. Welcome to Incredible Crisis. Oh, oh, I'll have that lady talk to me some more. So, the premise behind this Grandma's birthday, it, we seem to be in an unhappy marriage. The wife settled on the husband. He is her second marriage. Who is this? Hello. Oh, cake. And I like. Let's have a look at the options. I haven't loaded this up before. Oh, mono oral. <laughs> they could have just had it stereo or mono rather than mono oral. Vibration. Oh, yeah. You can hear my controller vibrating. You hear that? Maybe not. You might not. You might not have heard it. Oh my god, the dog does vibrate! Oh, cute. Right. Let's uh, let's go with that then. Vibration on stereo. Oh, he looks to the side as well. Very cute. Um, have we got any other? Was that just the- I think that was all. Have I already broken it? Kind of feels like I might have already broken it, lads. Do not blink re- I don't, what, what is that? What is that? Well, I'll learn, I'll learn in chat. 
Oh, it's fixed. It's fine. Nobody mentioned that. It's fine. Ta-da! You've embarrassing us in front of the Raiders. <laughs> David, David. Uh, front. Uh, uh. <laughs> he sounds like he's about to say, ah, fuck. <clears throat> Who's embarrassing us, David? I'm embarrassing you. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's really going for it. It's really vibrating. Fucking hell. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> That's Grandma. If you couldn't tell. You all know it's my birthday today. Hmm? Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll make your favorite dinner. Oh, not again. You do it every year. Of course. That's my reason for living. Bye. Happy birthday, Grandma. Oh, look at the doggie. I want everyone home early today. She's a happy old lady that wants her... Like, this is like those, um... Like farm social media posts when they say, Oh, no one turned up for my grandma's birthday. Please share and like this so that she knows that somebody's there. <laughs> Vibrating <laughs> controller ASMR. Whose mom is she though? Oh heck, I don't know. Time to exercise! They've got to be American because this is the only voice I can do. Um, they've all got the same last name so I'm not sure. Dance Fever. I think his ears were pinned back, weren't they? Oh. Oh, there's the hot lady from the office. Okay, everybody, let's do some exercise to relieve the day's stress. Okay, press buttons and directional buttons as shown make a mistake. You're, you're next. Your skill level goes down. Perfect dance, your skill level goes up. This game cannot be paused. Oh, shit. Okay. So in order to get home, we've got to make it... Uh, get home early to Grandma's birthday. We've got to make it through our days as these people... So, um, apparently the old dad, cheating dad, um, is, uh, apparently he needs to do some dancing at work. Push? What does push mean? Oh my goodness. Oh no! I think the CD might be scratched, lads. They're just staring at me. They're just, they're just staring at me. They're just smiling and staring at me. I am playing with Rue Hardware. I always play with Rue Hardware. <laughs> hey, there might be a, might be a problem here. Um, I feel like I'm having a nightmare. Might need a wipe. It's what your mum said. Hang on. Oh, there's no, there's no dog in here even. Oh my goodness. Right. God, this brings me back. I mean, it is pretty scratched, Greg. To me, Greg was in charge of sourcing this one. I wasn't. This is what happens. This is what happens. I think this stream might be cursed. Dog left because she's disappointed. Disc cleaning ASMR. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I vomited on this plank and I still will wash it. How you're cleaning that disc gives me anxiety. How do you want me to be cleaning it? Happy birthday, Grandma. Thank you very much, my parents. I'm not Grandma, I swear it's not my birthday. But welcome into the stream. I, I, I vomited on this um, when I was sick and I still haven't washed it. I haven't got around to it, you know. Softer. It is pretty scratched up. So honestly, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything bad to it. So we're going to have to switch the cars. Or <laughs> I almost want to switch the cars just because this, this I want to, I want to punish Greg. I want to punish Greg for whatever's happening right now, the mishap. Don't you have a microfiber corp? I do not. Not on me at least. All right. In it goes. Does chat enjoy Badger being grody? Yeah, you guys do. Pretty sure you do. I'm sure this will be fine. Someone said that if you put banana over CD scratches, it would it would fix it. Um, it like fixes them. Try the B side. What? Turn it upside down. Can you? I'm not being. I'm not being fib to. It does not. <laughs> I didn't think it would. <laughs> I didn't think it would. Like one of those five minute craft videos that said if you put banana, like spread banana on CD scratches, it fixes them. <laughs> Miss the grody thing one? Oh, I was cleaning my, uh, cleaning the disc. Um with the blanket that I vomited on. See, this is working smoothly. Can I skip this? I can. I didn't think we needed to see the chills again, you know? Welcome to Incredible Crisis. Yeah, it was when I went into the, uh, when I went into the options, it wasn't having a, uh, wasn't having, having it. I'm presuming the options will have saved, but I don't know. Microwave for 30 hours, that'll make the screen just go away. <laughs> right, let's check the options really quick. Stereo, vibration on, go back. I skipped. I'm I'm hoping that that is supposed to uh, supposed to vibrate. I've got like my I'm holding my breath. Oh, we're vibrating again. Yeah, vomiting's a good polish. Yeah, like the the ass stomach acid in the vomit. It's great to get off um any like scum marks on your CDs on your discs. Okay. Right, lads. Let's do some exercise. We can't disappoint the sexy lady. This isn't looking hopeful, is it? I think the mistake is the game, though. I don't think- I don't think it's me! <laughs> God, oh man, I blame you for this one. They just look at me. They're just looking at me smiling. They're like knees. Just... Where did you source this? <laughs> Greg, I found it in a dumpster. I thought we could play it on stream. <laughs> I like how Greg's not in chat either. Greg's like, Greg's run away. I'm pretty sure I heard him going to the toilet. Greg's like, oh, I've had enough, I've got to go take a shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I wanted to play this right now in the country. He's gone out the toilet window. <laughs> Pretend you don't care and it'll fix itself. Or I don't care if you start working. 
Oh dear. And some special goo, you can go get it repaired. Probably, to be honest, it would cost more. And now I'm just looking at what games we've got. Uh, it would probably cost more to get it refixed than just to buy a new one. Um, what we got for the day then? Seeing as this isn't going to work. So we could Final Fantasy, but I feel like I wouldn't want a Final Fantasy unless um, kind of... Uh, I feel like we've set Final Fantasy final day for Friday, so I wouldn't want to, um, you know, anyone who misses it or anything. Let's see what we got. Asterisk, Asterisk and Obelix probably isn't that exciting. Um, we won't do that one. So I'm out of um, I'm out of IRL PlayStation games to do. Give me your best summary. Uh, we defeated Diamond Weapon, and we are at the bottom of the caves now and we didn't fuck it up either we didn't have to reload to the top which was good hey cd good afternoon mm. non-physical games i got oh well now you're asking the questions hang on let's turn up the playstation and figure out what we're gonna do i can't believe it I can't believe it, we fucked up. We didn't touch any other weapon, not Wimpy, not even Wimpy Ultima weapon. We didn't even go back and do Emerald weapon. Is it Emerald weapon? I did miss Jake's Ultima weapon though. Oh no, whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? Drake's my favorite character. I'm never gonna get to use him now. Oh! <laughs> so we do have Sexy Brutal, which isn't retro. Uh, we were playing it yesterday. Um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing us do the last two, um, last two murders in that, the last two crimes. We also have uh, Cars. <laughs> Everybody's favorite game, Cars. Uh, which is retro and, you know, I think very good. <laughs> you know, it's a very high quality retro game. Uh, let me have a look see what else I've got. Return of the Church of Olsen. We do, like, I... We could literally just... <laughs> I mean, I got it right here. We could, but I feel like we've already finished it, so... We could go back and try and get high scores. Rock. Oh! Yeah, hang on a moment. I got more games. Hang on. Hang on a moment. Give me a sec. Let me put some music on for you. Let me go get the games from the other room. I forgot. Hello. Hello. Right, so we've got we've got some more games. <laughs> we've got a we have a a selection. Um we have Croc. 
some classy flannel bottoms. Oh, thank you very much. They're Greg's, but now they're mine. <laughs> Greg, what do you think of the disc? I took in the Incredible Crisis disc to him. We did have a great Incredible Crisis. Oh, shit. <laughs> and another Incredible Crisis as I shuffle my camera around. Yeah, so we've got a couple of options. We have a uh, croc. We've got Woody Woodpecker. Um, Beyond Good and Evil. We've got Devil May Cry. I don't mind a croc. I'm feeling croc today. I'm feeling a bit crocky. Croc is a croc is a game I fucking loved as a kid as well. I vote croc. You think croc is winning? Croc is best. Wow. Got any Mega Death? <laughs> the only Mega Death is Incredible Crisis on the stream. Oh, okay. I'll go get a microfiber. being tempted with mini eggs. I do not need mini eggs. I got a microfiber cloth. So this is one, this is a game that I sourced. So let's see if the disc is a, uh, the disc is any good. <laughs> mini eggs don't have soya in them. So mini eggs are perfect for me. Hey Popsar, good morning. I just want to get all the surface dust off. I know blowing cartridges isn't very good. I haven't heard much about blowing uh, discs or not. Spill all over it. Oh, let's just spill a bit of coffee on it. That'll clean it. To be honest, this is in better condition than the Final Fantasy disc, so... Let's see. Touching discs on the read side is not advised. That's right. He's a good girl. He's a good girl. You here to give mommy good luck? <laughs> if blowing on cards didn't work, why did everyone do it? Let me just change our uh, change our title today. Hi, my love. Hi. Uh, croc. Um. I haven't thought of a witty pun. Usually like a witty pun. <laughs> oh yeah. Got it. Very funny. Let's give it a go then, shall we? Like someone's being a snacky later. She's right though, we do have snacks. Want a snack? Yeah. <laughs> My hair in your eye. There's a good girl. Yeah. I'm gonna give mommy some luck. Do you maybe give the PlayStation give the PlayStation a, a little boop? Oh, thank you! The lucky boop. Rev, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, let's try this again, Lamp, shall we? Turn the music off. Turn that off. Ah. You guys narrowly avoided playing cars. I'm not happy about it. Not happy about it. CBT sniffer, CBT goblin, CBT goblin oh. snack time. Duh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. This one's from Dove. Oh, yeah. She says thank you as well. She says thank you in her own greedy little way. Da-da-da-da! 
I used to play croc as a kid a lot, but I think we've already established that I didn't have a working memory cart. So I would start the same level over and over again. So I only ever only ever played the maybe the first level of croc. Um, or the first two levels, however long I could, you know, sit in front of the PlayStation and play. So <laughs> I'm gonna be really good at the first level. Be a little bit quiet, I think. Hi, sweetheart. a dog. I'm hoping that this makes all the difference. Turn that down. Oh god, that gives me fit. That gives me um that noise. There we go. You have to tell me if it's still too quiet. I did some fiddling. See you later, litigators. Oh, that's great. Oh, that is good. See you later, litigators. They are little chicken nuggets. Little chicken nuggets with crowns on them. <laughs> I always wondered, is this guy my real dad? You know how they... Oh. Oh, I'm getting all the warm fuzzies. Oh, he's got a little backpack. I remember the little backpack. Oh, this is the... <laughs> that fucking... the jumping sound? How frustrated and angry am I gonna get to platforming today? I don't really play a lot of platformers. Um. Oh, I remember they're like the glittery balls. They were like my favorite things ever. Mm. All right. Play Celeste. So they got glittery balls in it. I turned up the sound so that I could hear it better as well. Hmm. Just a tad. There we go. I don't want it to be, don't, don't want it to be too offensive to the eardrums. Remember? Shazam! Fucking Shazam! Oh. 
So O looks around. Oh, O turns around, sure. I remember as a kid, these definitely, this definitely looked bigger. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. Crock pound. God, I remember how fucking awkward it is using only directional. Let's see whether we can... Okay. Is this... Oh no! What a nasty little asshole! What the fuck? I was gonna gra- I was gonna ground pound on him! What an asshole! Fuck you, sir. I was- I was trying to line up a funky fresh ground pound. See, this just adds to my, um... Adds to the fuel to my fire that I think that wasps should be just literally like cold from the universe. Can I just Oh I can. Oh, I missed something up there. Never mind, I'm sure we'll be able to go back up. Oh I remember this. I remember this music. I fucking love this music. Oh god. This is a children's game no curse. Do I push this? Is there an ability to push? Can I push? What a nasty little ass. <laughs> yeah, I thought I could. Can I not? Maybe not. Oh, that moves, okay. I don't think we've got a... I might have seen full today. I don't think I needed that. I think that- Oh, hello! Little chicken nuggets. That is more expensive than I expected it to be. Lava looks like pasta sauce. It was 15 quid, okay. I asked, not as bad. I mean, still, like, still a reasonable amount. You know, Croc was cheaper. Can I kill these people? I can't remember. Oh, I can kill them! Okay. It's like Mario. We're losing too many glitterballs, boss. <laughs> It's all right, it's all right. Two will be enough, I'm sure. Look, I've got all three. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh my God. Oh, we've got two guys, don't worry. <laughs> we have a one. <laughs> I can't remember how to tail. Oh, I got it. dog on my lap. You guys can't see, but I promise she's there. Very cute. <gasps> Don't fall in the nacho cheese. It does look like nacho cheese! Nacho cheese or some kind of, um, some kind of bolognese. Some kind of bolognese sauce, a creamy bolognese sauce. Miri, thank you 
you so much for the follow. Welcome in, Mary. Oh, can I? Oh! Oh, no! No! I didn't want to finish the level. I didn't know that's how you finish the level. Again, adding to the adding to the lore that I I'm gonna play it again. I kind of want to do level one again. <laughs> do we keep moving or do we do do we do it again? <laughs> there was so much that we didn't finish. Again, I have to do. I didn't. I I don't think I I I must have finished a level at some point. I didn't never had a memory card that worked, so I could never save my games and go back. It's a speed run. Look at me go. I'm speeding. I'm speeding. I'm running. Canary, I thank you so much for the follow as well. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Mary, how is your Wednesday going? Welcome into the stream. It's an awkward run. Now, I'll be more careful with my crystals. I don't actually know what the crystals do. I don't ever have any memory of, like, spending the crystals. Do I get an extra life when I get a hundred crystals? Oh. <laughs> Using Mario logic. Oh, he got a big dumpy. Look at that! Look at that dumpy! It would have been better if they'd had a, uh, like, a beeping noise as he reversed. <laughs> Beep. Croc, no! Croc, no! <laughs> that was clearly his fault. Not my fault. Clearly I... <laughs> but it wasn't a mosquito this time, at least. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my ass. It's fine. I'm very glad you did, Mary. Welcome in. I hope work's going well. I hope, uh, I hope we can keep you company. Splat? I fucking remember that! A middle-aged Yoda! <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. What an amazing name. Oh, I made an error. You see my error of judgement then? I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Oh dear. Why, um... Why haven't they brought Croc back? <laughs> it's a question on all of our lips. They brought Spyro back. Where's, where's Croc's, uh, where's Croc's brand new game? Kaboof. Kaboof. Don't think it took off? I don't think I've met a single person who doesn't know who this fucking crocodile is. I don't like lasagna. It's always sweaty. Why has it got to be sweaty? Hello. Hey, look, I'm sure Suzu agrees. Suze, if you think lasagna's sweaty, eat this snack. Mm. Oh, there we go. See, she thinks it's sweaty. You've never seen onion -ish. Never seen this game? I mean, it may, it, you are an onion after all, so it does kind of make sense. <laughs> leading the witness. I didn't lead the... I, she made her own choice then. There we go. I was a PC kid, never played Croc. I think I was a... Sorry, I had a PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. Um, but I did play Sims on the PC. I played the original Sims. The Sims burglar noise. I remember the first time they ever heard of it, uh, or heard it, I uh, cried and ran into my parents. This is PlayStation 1. Yee. Which means I have to use directional sticks, which... <gasps> CZ, I remember this door! This door. Right. Oops. I cried from the burglar. You guys didn't. 
terrifying. Oh my god. <laughs> please, Croc, please. Please. <laughs> I have nothing left to my name anymore. I have nothing to my name! I've not a penny left! Croc! Oh my god. The hitbox. The hitbox is crazy. I swear, guys, it's the hitbox, not me. Maybe the worm's invincible? I don't remember it being invincible. Maybe I'm just shit. Is there any way up? Hmm. Just startled telling me. <laughs> she needs to know of my suffering too. I can't fucking see the thing. Croc, please. Rotate. Rotate. Rotate, my man. The worm is actually Jesus. Oh, come on. You worm Jesus. I want to turn the camera. There we go. There we turn the camera. There's a good lad. Am I going to be able to jump up there? It's not like I've got anything to lose, I suppose. God, he's getting annoying, isn't he? He's a bit needy. This chicken nugget. <laughs> no idea that Critical Crisis looked so much like Croc Legend of the Gobos. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Weird, am I like who which came first? Incredible Crisis or Croc? Who stole whose identity? Oh, then Oh another worm. Oh, like a piranha plant, okay. Can I just go down? Yeah, nice. Is this Gex? <laughs> Is Gex's less popular brother, Croc. <laughs> Named after a crocodile rather than a gecko. It isn't the easiest to control if I'm if I, I you know, not that I wanna I, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna complain. You know, I never complain about games. But ugh, Honestly not the easiest to control. Oh, what an asshole! It's the uh, the it's the fact that you've got a, four directions. It would be easier to control if I could use the stick. But, alas, PlayStation One did not have a stick. But we got all the bits. We got all the jammies. Now we can go through the jammy door. Hello, Jemmy Door. Bubsy 3D. Fuck, it's Bubsy 3D. Do I have, I, do, do I have any recollection of this? Oh my god, this is great. Fucking jelly. Oh, there we go. It's a key over there. Oh dear. Jill Shock came later. Yeah, I wish I could use the stick. That doesn't do it. It doesn't do anything. I should play Bob's E3D? I don't know why I feel like I'm being tricked on in it. <laughs> this croc experienced an incredible crisis when someone pushed him and his McDonald's chicken nuggets <laughs> Oh nice Any secrets anywhere? Oh <gasps> I knew it <laughs> I love these. These to me always look like chocolates. Like those cheap little hard chocolates you would get. <laughs> oh, I missed something over there, you see? I missed a, a gem. Is it right? I miss demos. I know demos are coming back into fashion, aren't they? Like games on Steam are now putting out demos and stuff. I just I miss having demos and demo discs. It 
It was released two months later than this game. Just to laugh at us. Just to fucking laugh at us. They were like, no, you have to play a 3D platform over there in four directions. Ha ha. I had the Bubsy 3D demo as a kid. If there was a competition where you show mastery of the first level of Bubsy 3D, I would absolutely win. So I had the, um, the demo disc of Crash Bandicoot Racers. And I remember all I used to do was play the, like, play that one level <laughs> over and over again. I think there were some other, like, other demo stuff on there. Is this evil or good? I can't tell. So do I want to go up or down? Also not sure which way is the secret way. I can see I can go up here. Oh, he's wheezy. He's a wheezy boy. It's aggressively cute. This always used to remind me of Rayman as well. I don't know, something about saving all the little guys trapped in, um... Uh, trapped in cages reminded me of Rayman. Star Wars Pit Droids. Can't remember if I enjoyed it or if it was good. Probably not, but I remember it nonetheless. <laughs> oh. How did you even get the demo disc? Was it cereal boxes? I got a, um... I got a piece of meteor. Oh dear. From... From a cereal box. I always remember that one. Like, or a piece of the moon or something? We were gaming magazines. Oh, I wonder if it was from a gaming magazine then that I got the demo disc. The game was far too hard. I struggled with Rayman as well. I don't think I ever finished it, but then I think mine was more of a memory card problem. Ooh. Oh no, 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 please don't kill me. I just want to be able to turn the camera, please. <laughs> please. I don't think I need that heart right now. I don't know, maybe I do. I don't really want to go over the marinara sauce. To see if I need it, all right. Anything up here? No. Hey Dave, good morning. Happy Tuesday, Wednesday. Shazam. Oh my God. You shitting me? That guy was right up at me. That was rigged. I wonder if I can get over here. <laughs> No, please. <laughs> the controls are so hard. They don't go where you wanted to go. Oh dear. So it's not in relation to, like, so the camera or the controls are not in relation to where the camera is pointing. So you kind of have to remember where you've turned. But they are in relationship to where the camera's pointing sometimes. Future Cop LAPD. Is it like a, what kind of game is it? Like a murder mystery? Uh, like, do you get to be a, get to be a policeman? Oh, hello friendo. Right, let's, uh, let's go through the door and see what we end up with. Did we make it at Grandma's party? Unfortunately, Grandma died before we made it there, which is a shame. Um. <laughs> no one really saw that coming. No, we had an incredible crisis. Whee! Whee she just loves Croc. <laughs> She just loves Croc. She asked us to play Croc, actually. Oh no! No, 
<laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Dave, I'm glad, I'm glad we made the cut. I'm glad you're still with us. I know what you mean, though. Sometimes it can become... Oh. Oh, no. Can I... Sometimes the list gets too long. I can't push that. And you struggle to see who's kind of who's actually online. Oh, maybe if I go through the door, actually. Throw the box to the key. But <laughs> I can have a kiki to the curb who will compl I will complain to about my butt issues. By my grand, what large dumpy you that? <laughs> David started drooling when he heard Dumpy. He just said, he started, oh, large Dumpy you have. He got too, uh, he got too excited. <laughs> got too excited about Grandma's Dumpy. I was hoping it might reload the boxes. Oh, God. Am I going to have to restart the level to get this fella? How annoying. Well, I'll be back for you, sir. I have to face the most arduous task, scheduling a D&D game. <laughs> no one's ever available Why should at the same you never time. play poker with in Crocodile? You will lose he every hand. Oh my god, because he's- he'll eat your hand. He'll eat- oh no. Oh no. Maybe. Why should you never play poker with in Crocodile? You will lose every hand. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Was that Brian? Was that Zach? That was Zach, wasn't it? Zach was like, no, no, I don't think you got I don't think you got it the first time. It was really nuanced. I don't think you want it. There we go. It's when you die, the boxes respawn. He's like, no, I don't think I don't think you got it the first time. Can you just let, let me read it again? I'ma let you finish, but let me read it again. <gasps> Bread! Oh, you're in the office! Bread, bread, taking us on like you've taken us on a trip. What's the office like, bread? Oh, there's another one. Bread, we had a we had trouble and we missed Grandma's birthday. Oh, he's sad because I left him. Sad, right? Every grandma I have seen does have the largest ass possible. To, if I'm honest, at least for my own grandmothers, it wasn't. It it was never where I was looking, so I can't. I feel like I can't really make a comment on my own grandmother's ass, you know. Oh yeah, we like bring your kids to work. Bread, bread, do they have snacks? Do they have snacks? Can I have a coffee from the coffee machine, bread? Do they have sandwiches? I'm hungry. A French photographer and his friend from Czechoslovakia were visiting Australia. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, one day they got too close to a nesting site and were attacked and eaten by a pair of crocodiles. Oh. The female ate the Frenchman. The Czech was in the mail. Multi layers. It more layers. It's like an onion. Thank you very much. Do you have crocodiles in Australia? They have crocodiles in Australia? I mean, obviously they've got everything that eats eats anybody in Australia. Oh my god! It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth whis whis whisking it all, risking it all. Never heard of Crocodile Dundee? Yeah, it's not an alligator though. Oh, did I ask about crocodiles and then deferred to alligators? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Do they have crocodiles? Well, do they have alligators? Oh, what we got? What we got going on here?
Does England have tea? I have to ask your mum. We have coffee and energy drinks. We've got donuts. Oh, what kind of donuts bread? Offices in a skyscraper valley parking? Bread. You must be like, oh, let's drive and park my car over there, please. Yes. I don't think I trust anyone with valet parking. You're very hungry. Not a variety. Is there a no nut variety? I don't think I trust them. Not that I, you know, think that valets can't do their job. You know. Yes, Jeeves, I'll be back around three. <laughs> A French photographer and his friend from the Czech Republic were visiting Australia. <laughs> Unfortunately, one day they got too close to a nesting site and were attacked and eaten by a pair of crocodiles. The female ate the Frenchman. The Czech was in the mail. Fixed. Thank you, Gullick. Thank you. Checks out now. Irishman Checks out. Scotsman are having a drink mm. in a bar when the Scotsman says to the Irishman, I hear you can make a lot of money by shooting crocodiles in Australia for crocodile skin shoes because they are worth a lot and the Irishman thinks this sounds like a great idea and so they head off to Australia together on a mission to make money. Mm -hmm. They arrive in Australia and decide to split up to cover more ground. After a week's hunting they meet up again. The Scotsman has a long face and says I have had no luck. I didn't find a crocodile all week. The Irishman replies well I have shot about 50 crocodiles but none of them were wearing shoes. Dang, fucking shoeless crocodiles in Australia. What's up with Australia and then shoeless fucking crocodiles? <laughs> Thank you very much, Darth. Thank you very much, and thank you, Gullux. Thank you for thank you for correcting your terrible geographic mistake. No, uh, d double jumping doesn't help me jump jump higher, but single jumping at the right time does make me jump higher. See, I like this is without me jumping. This is with me jumping, but it's quite hard a time. Oh, piss bags. Good morning, Haley. Crocodiles wearing crocs. I fucking love crocs. Oh my god, they should sell crocs. Crocs. Who owns croc? Which company did croc? Fox. Is it fox? Argonaut. Argonaut. Uh, fox. Distributed by uh, EA. EA needs to have a... <laughs> it needs to collab with crocs, please. And then I presume that I'm ground pounding on top of these boxes. That, that there's nothing else up here. There's a lot of pounding. 69! Do we got the funny number, guys? 69! The sexy number! We did actually miss something out back there. Um, We could redo the level, but are we going to? We did, we did miss out the secret. That's not a Crocodile Dundee movie reference. This is a Crocodile Dundee movie reference. Is Crocodile Dundee the one that goes, have you ever played Knifey Spoonie? That looks... Thank you, God looks. Thank you. Don't encourage her. <laughs> 69. Let's, uh, let's continue on to the next level and we might go back. I have these um, Easter-shaped gingerbread biscuits. And um, I thought you guys would like this one. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> this is me listening to these Crocodile Dundee jokes. <laughs> I just thought he looked particularly funny. <laughs> we 
Which was Knifey Spoony? You ever played Knifey Spoony? The guy with the big knife. Yeah, Knifey Spoony, right? Kavik, thank you so much for the follow, Kavik. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. No, I'm oh piss bags. I'm sure Knifey Spoony. It wasn't in. It wasn't in a. It wasn't in a Simpsons episode. I'm sure I saw. I witnessed a real man. A real life man. Saying those words, not a Simpsons man. Oh. oh, hello. Falling into this lava's <laughs> making me lose the will. What's this? Oh, I bet it's timed. They always are. I don't know. I don't know. Lads, I lost it. Lads! I lost it. The right. My right or your right? Drago. 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 We know who we're blaming now. This is when I accidentally crushed the left one because I can't tell my left and my right. Yes, yeah, PlayStation 1. It's alright, we'll come back to it. I forgive you for now, Drago. Was that bad or good? I couldn't tell. It was burn. We need, we're looking for chicken nuggets. Less hearts, more chicken nuggets. We're just a crocodile wanting them at Donald's back. Oh. Oh, piss. I meant to jump. It's alright, though. Like, you know, they always say Captain Badger Tales, Queen of Forgiveness. Just don't ask who they are. Oh, my God. <sighs> Haley is right. Those jokes mm. were bad. Here's a better one. Have uh -huh. you heard about the new business that finds new homes for adorable snails? Apparently, it's just a shell company. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is it a, is it a company by uh, the... <laughs> The oil baron shell. Oh, we've got one key, but uh, there's too many options of which way to go. Mm. Such a crook. <laughs> so we've got, like, we could go up here and we could use the key up here. We've got too many options. Feel a bit spoiled for choice. How's the game going so far? Um, it it's going. Uh, the controls are difficult. I call the big one bitey. Big one what? Which big one? Yeah, you guys, crocodile dunding. I <laughs> I don't get all these crocodile dundee references. I don't want to be down here. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm missing out. It's going. The controls are really difficult, but you know, um, we are we persevere. You know, we are gamers. Oh. 
No, I liked your I liked your Czechoslovakia one, Alex. Especially after you changed it back to the Czech Republic. So I can't go down there. Oh dear. Oh. Feeling more and more um, hatred towards whoever bought out the uh, Dual Shock controller two months after this game. Is it a family of possums in the monorail episode? Is that when Springfield gets a monorail? I feel like I remember that one because I do. I am quite a monorail lover. I like shopping malls and I like monorails. They're my like they're my two passions in life. No, you can't use uh, can't use sticks. Only four way. <laughs> only the uh, the four directions. It's not a very pro monorail episode. Yeah, but you know, you can't be too, yeah, there's not many monorail, like, there's not much monorail representation, so I feel like I can't be, I can't be super picky with stuff like this. You know, the fact that they just showed a monorail does, does me fine. My favorite thing in City Skylines is to make a monorail that no one uses. They never use my monorails. <laughs> I don't know why, they're all about using the subway and using their cars. Why they never use my monorails? I stop listening to the characters' words, I just, I just watch the monorail go around the track. Monorails are great means of public transport. They're amazing. They're like trains, but better. They're like trains, but they go above the ground. And they're like, they're on stilts, which means that... Trains, but hard, more expensive and hard to maintain, but they look cooler, less dirty. Oh. oh. Right, I understand. We are bullying sheep. For fuck's sake. <laughs> We're committing sheep murder. Oh. God. I can only do two. I can't do- I couldn't- oh. City Skylines worth picking up on sale? How much is it? I'd say yes, because I enjoy it, but, um... There is a, uh, there is a new one coming out. But the- you know, we were talking about this, Paradox Games, um... It's kind of worth buying the previous gen of the Paradox game because they've gotten so much they've got so much content to them. They've got so much content in them, whereas the like the new um the new one coming out won't have all of that content. So yeah, I'd say yes, but you know, I guess it's kind of uh kind of up to you whether you 
But you enjoy city builders. 70% off. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, Paradox games some Paradox sometimes makes their uh, previous gems free, the base game. Like Crusader Kings 2, they made Crusader Kings 2 free f when Crusader Kings 3 came out. So I don't want to say buy City Skylines and then and make it free when the next one comes out, you know? Bunch of model buildings. Oh, you get to paint them yourself as well. It's Haley, do you have a monorail though? Oh no! Yeah, you didn't get the DLC, but I suppose <laughs> you could then buy the DLC afterwards. You do not have a model monorail. Oh, I'm not going to say that you're missing out something, but you are. I would like one. You know, so I've, I've always been fascinated by model trains. I've always, always liked them. I've always wanted a Christmas model train. Oh my god, okay, I am directing this. Oh lord. I've always wanted one where you kind of, you make it go from room to room. So you like, you cut out essentially a mouse hole in each room for the, the train to go through. Love the idea of that. But now I'm kind of, I'm thinking, what if I could get a model monorail? Like, why, why limit myself to a model train? Imagine if I could have a, have a model monorail. That would be fun. I was hoping it was going to be behind me. Model trains are so expensive though. Like for a nice model train. And I feel like if I was going to go in, go like go in for a model train, I'd want to, you know, I'd want, want it to be a good model train, you know, you know, like the kind of model train that I'm going to go have for, have for a lifetime. Sim, Sim City 5 for good. There we go. The new City Skylines looks really nice. I mean, like, they've only showed a trailer, but if it looks like the trailer, it's going to look really good. I am going to miss all the additional content, though. I think my favorite piece of extra content for City Skylines, so if you were going to buy the base game and you were thinking, oh, maybe I'll pick up one DLC, I liked the Parks one. Yeah, but where would I put it, Haley? Oh, where would I, where would I put it? Oh, is this a, a boss fight? What the fuck? What is this? I have memories of this, if I'm honest. Actually, I don't ever remember finishing it, but I do have memories. Oh dear. Oh my god. There's a Lego monorail? No! A Lego monorail? I wonder if you could motorize that as well. What's your favorite DLC, Darth? Oh my god! I did it. I don't don't know how. I don't know why, but I did it. Oh, he's a little cutie! Look at him! Little like little green duck friend. That was very abrupt. I don't even quite understand like what I was doing in that fight. Well, we're here for the tumbling Dantini. It's like a martini, but made out of people called Dan. Hyperrealistic model of a flying Scotsman or whatever right now. I bet they're expensive, though. <laughs> and then you, you want to buy all the, like, the little trees and stuff that go with it. Uh, 
My favorite has to be the parks. I just think that it adds... Got him. I feel like it adds so much to the game. You know, you can design your own parks. People actually use them. It's kind of like, um... Like Planet Zoo. Like Planet Zoo and City Skylines. Oh, there's a key on top. Can I jump that far? I don't know. Not if I do that. I can't. Train Simulator Classic. Oh, dear. Is it like, um... <laughs> a millennial in a leaky apartment. Yeah. Luckily, our link has been taken care of. <laughs> it feels if like is everybody's apartment's leaking? Because mine, mine, mine was. Mine was. It's only now we've got one radiator that le that is leaking. Um. But I'm hoping that we're gonna it's gonna get warm enough that we don't have to turn the radiator on anymore so we can just like it's not a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem when the radiator doesn't have to be on. Yeah, it was our bathroom that was leaking and um so someone had uh done a really bad job at put piping up the bathroom essentially and instead of actually screwing in the pipes they had found a big pipe and a small pipe and they just put the small pipe in the big pipe and that was like that was one of the pipe connections they just put the small pipe in the big pipe and they were like well you know we don't need to seal that or anything so it turned out that the uh for god knows how many years the water had been running out of out of the bath and just making the floor apparently the floor is absolutely fucking soaked like all of them the boards or whatever um plumber of the year August. <laughs> so i don't want to see what the state of the floorboards are now because obviously are i again love our landlord you know they are they are very nice um that I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to zoom in on myself saying I love my landlord. But the, the landlord is very nice. Um, but the, the landlord just <laughs> fixed it. Fixed it. Did the, did the pipe. You know, made the pipes connect and everything. And then just... <laughs> just put the side of the bath back on. <laughs> and, like, they, it's not... Because I think realistically you probably have to take out the whole bathroom floor. And redo the bathroom. But obviously... Um, Think twice if you're under duress. <laughs> they, yeah, they just put the side of the bath on, and like I guess we don't care because it's not like you know it's not our not, you know it's not not our home. So you know if the landlord is happy with oh I could have just up uh, into there. Um, if the landlord's happy with presumably having a not very not 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 structural bathroom floor I, I don't as long as i don't fall through it <laughs> I, I don't care i don't care because realistically probably not going to be a problem for a few years hopefully the rent could be sent anywhere oh wouldn't it be nice if the rent was just sent back around your bank account oh, nice purple oh dave i quite like this color I like this color. Mine was in but such a bad waterlogged state, the window fell off. Oh, <gasps> no! We had a friend that had a really awful apartment. Really awful. Like, mold everywhere. Um, and while they were asleep one night. I know I shouldn't be laughing because obviously it wasn't funny at the time, but now it's hilarious. While they were asleep one night, the window fell Because <laughs> the window had rotted. And the window... It didn't hurt them, they were fine. They were fine. The, um, the window was just... <laughs> out, um... 
Because the landlord, they, they complained before, but they didn't want to fix it. Um, look at that little nugget. Look at that little nuggy. Ooh, dear. I kind of want to, oh, I kind of wanted to look what was down, down there, you know. Oh, well, I've fallen now. Oh, nuts. Well, okay. Let's go back out and go back up. <laughs> yeah! That would be funny, wouldn't it, Darth? Uh, no, I, oh, why would, I, di I couldn't do anything about that. That was an auto, that was an auto animation. Borerium, bo bo Borium, Borium, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Welcome in. Oh, this game, ma this game makes me a little bit angry. I'm, a, I'm a little bit. I knew I was gonna get angry. I knew I was. Oh, I don't think that there's gonna be any fun, uh, uh, any, uh, any fun trips um, through the ceiling. So the plumber uh, came back and told us that it had dried out a bit. Um, so I'm, we're hoping that maybe in the summer it'll dry out completely. You know. There we go. There's the lad. As long as I wasn't hurt, yeah. <laughs> Would be funny though. <laughs> hey guys, I took a <laughs> took a trip today. Oh no, please. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. I remember I played this game's demo version in my childhood. Where did you get the demo from? Did you get it from a um do you get from a, a cereal box or a game game magazine, Cisco? Oh, I don't think that wasn't supposed that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know. Go back around. A game magazine disc. I wish they still did those. I mean, they still do game magazines, but I, I wish they still like gave away demos and stuff in the game magazine. Maybe they do. Maybe I'm, in, you know, maybe they do like a like a game code. <laughs> Croc is ethereal. Croc is one of the biblically accurate angels that you'll see when you die. Didn't they stop the Nintendo magazine? Did they still do the Nintendo. Nets? Is it, was it Nintendo Life? Oh, oh, no! <laughs> ah. Yeah, you can download demos. I just think that there was something, uh, something charming. Something charming about getting them. Getting demos that you didn't choose, you know? <laughs> I think it encouraged you to try, try games that you wouldn't otherwise. There's no way of stopping this thing. You just have to keep going. <gasps> yes! Okay, cool. Nice. Chicken wings for days. <laughs> That's her blood. I don't want to wake her up. I won't wake her up. She'll get up herself later, I'm sure. Was it Nint was Nintendo Power? Maybe it was called Nintendo Power. Maybe it was called Nintendo Life in the UK, but Nintendo Power in the US. I miss Reggie. I miss Reggie. Is Doug Bowser as cool as Reggie? I don't think he is. You know, not to be mean to Doug.
You know what else I miss? I miss, you know, we were talking about stuff that you get in cereal boxes. I miss that you used to get things in cereal boxes. Do they still do toys? I don't think they do. And they used to do good toys as well. It's like the McDonald's Happy Meal toys are a bit shit now too. Back in my day, you used to get something for free when you got cereal. I used to love it because I used to pick my cereal not on what, you know, what it offered me nutritionally or taste-wise. I used to just pick it on what I got free with the cereal. So, you know, I got that piece of piece of the moon. What's this? Oh, this this music's good. <laughs> America's desire above all else power. <laughs> and Europeans desire above all else life. <laughs> Please let us live. <laughs> We're so cold. Oh no, I fell! I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> Shit. Oh well now I'm fucked. I wanted to I wanted to see if there was somewhere I was supposed to be ground pounding, but I fell off the fucking edge. <laughs> I can just kaboof, please. My fucking shame. You had Nintendo action. Everyone in Spain just wants a little bit of action. And not in like not in that way. That sounded really rude. <laughs> I'm Spanish, so just gagging for it. I suppose incest is legal in Spain, so. <laughs> Can't stop imagining Badger playing with model trains, and to be clear, it's something I'm very much in favor of. I had a um a little train set as a kid. It was a um, it was a cheap Thomas the Tank Engine train set that my mum found in a second-hand shop, and it was really, really cute. It was because my sister had one, and uh, my sister and my sister didn't like sharing with me uh, because I was cl a clumsy child, and whenever she'd share with me, I'd break whatever she shared. Um, I always remember she gave me her jasmine. Disney Jasmine, uh, like Barbie, and um, I didn't do this. I, I swear to God, it just popped off, but the head came off. I, I swear, I swear, I did not, I did not kill Princess Jasmine. I swear I didn't, but the head came off, and she never, she never quite got over that. She never got over it. She never forgave me for it. Um, or never forgave me for it. Never forgotten. I swear I didn't. I didn't touch it, and it just. It just. <laughs> the weird thing is, you pull it like this, and it breaks. I swear I didn't pull it. I don't. Chafar <laughs> did it. I swear I didn't pull it or anything. I just. It just happened. It was. Oh piss. It just. It just happened. And um, yeah, she never forgave me for that. So she wasn't she wasn't a big sharer. Uh, so I was really jealous of her like her trains. So my mum had to get me some trains as well. That's my train story. <laughs> Dang, I wonder why. Uh, I was a clumsy child. Oh god, how am I even supposed to get up there? I don't think I can do this quick enough. No, don't fall in the marinara sauce. I only twisted it clockwise and anti-clockwise a couple of times and tugged. God. I didn't though. I didn't. I was really, I was really, um, I was really careful and I was just clumsy. A lot of things happened by accident. I did get an award for the most elegant. I did. I did. <laughs> yes, that's my that's my train story. I love those trains. I love them. My cat loved them as well, so I'd sit with my cat watching, um, and I'd 
send the trains around the track and he would sit in the middle of the train track. Objection! Very cute. Very, very cute. Objection. Maybe, probably, in getting awful time, boss. Ooh. Gully go bed new. Looking forward to more non-consensual sexy times with breasted pixel ladies on Friday night. Breasted. I see. Breasted. One control below. Oh, oh, drunk. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for 303 biddies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And just to be clear, the non-consensual non sexy times was no... It was not consented to me. It was sexy times that I did not consent to as the player character. So I presume both the characters consented, but I didn't... I don't want them to have sex. I romance somebody else and then all of a sudden they're having sex. It's terrible. It's terrible. Drunk. I will see you later. You have a wonderful, wonderful sleep. A lovely Wednesday. And dark. Oh. Duh, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for giving us some to Foz. Foz? Welcome to the weenies. Welcome. Oh, I died. I think this, I think the death was for the best, though. Yeah, it was from Final Fantasy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Cloud, um, Cloud had hanky-panky with Tifa. And I didn't know, I always had a hanky-panky with Tifa. Exactly. If I don't consent, it shouldn't happen. I thought this was some ga <laughs> game that I missed. I did actually see a really cool um, a demo. Actually, we're, so, we're, all, we're very demo demo heavy today. I did actually see a YouTube video of somebody playing a demo for a a dating city builder game. Oh. A dating city builder game that looks really good. It was like this medieval city. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. Might have been an indie game, so I should really remember what it was called. But it looked really good. You had to make your residence date, and then they would produce they would produce the babies that would then inhabit the. Oh my God, Jesus Christ, we're gonna die. Take it easy. Take it easy. They would, uh, they'd have, you basically, you were breeding residents, essentially. Um, so that the residents would then make the babies who would then inhabit your town in the next generation. And sometimes they'd have affairs. And I was really interested in that. Um, <laughs> if you'd find out about the sordid affairs your residents were having, and that kind of interested me. I might just, like, go over here and jump. I could. Good. The whole crew was watching. Yeah, fucking Barrett and Sid were having a great old time. <gasps> rug! Good morning, Rug! Rug. How do you feel about crocodiles? Oh, nuts. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that. I... <laughs> I got the views a little bit fucked up with... <laughs> I didn't think, uh, didn't think the view, uh, the view was like that. Right. That was my own fault. Oh. friend. Hello. Would you guys eat these little chicken nuggets if they were fried? If McDonald's sold them, sold them and fried them for you? There was a JRPG called Conception where you basically had a magical conception to create your JRPG party members. I... I hate... I hate that. <laughs> Because I hate that idea. <laughs> I don't know why, because of the heebie jeebies. 
You'd think it would be up my alley, but somehow I get the heebie-jeebies. Later alligator. Oh, what was it? I, I presume it was about an alligator, right? We're like, oh, what was that about? Oh, no! <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, oh, so angry. <laughs> I don't even know how I died. It's always just such a blur. It's such a blur of panic and him not going the right way. And then I try and correct, and then it never corrects like how I think it's gonna correct. <sighs> oh. I think I've probably lost all my jemmies as well. <laughs> Can't you get wrecked? I'm, um... <laughs> I am very much feeling like I'm being wrecked. Oh, uh, this way. Riggity, riggity, wrecked. Not my jemmies. My jemmies are being rustled. Oh, I think I'm fucked up. No, it's fine, I think. I liked the Emperor's new clothes as a story. Thought it was fun. I thought it was funny. The idea of making a. Making the Emperor parade around naked always got me. Always made me laugh. I like the organ. I don't think we get enough organ. I don't think there's enough organ in new games. Oh my god. I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. <laughs> oh. Turn croc, please. Turn. Pivot. Pivot 90 degrees. I love a theremin. I always thought I might like to learn theremin. I don't think I've uh... I think if I was to learn an instrument, it might be piano, but... Always liked the idea of a theremin. so little to start with. I had so little marbles anyway. Just making me spill them all. Yeah, I took, um, I took keyboard for two years and by god, like I hope my parents never expected me to actually do anything with my keyboard that they paid for. Because I'll be honest with you, I don't remember any of it now. I don't remember any of it now, and to be honest, I wasn't that good when I was learning. I never remembered what any of the keys were. <laughs> I had to write them on the keys. Um, and I never, I never remembered. Whee! We saw it Tifa's piano. Oh, yeah. Just go, just go, Croc, just go. I learnt we're walking in the air. Um, you know, the, the snowman song. Don't remember any of it now. Good vibrations had theremin. Vibrations, my vibrations, good vibrations. That one, Rogue. Oh, 
Oh my god. The Beach Boys. My mum loved the Beach Boys. My favourite one is the na 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 na. Oh, I wanna take you. Na na na, Mahama. Come on, pretty mama. I think that's Beach Boys. Is he the Beach Boys or I'm embarrassing myself? Oh, not this guy. Fuck off, sir. Fuck off! Something like that. I want to play some spooky games. Not spooky games, though. I want to play some games that have spooky vibes. You know, we're all about the vibes, not the actual scares. Hey, Alex! Alex, did you ever finish it as a kid? You know, I'd like to finish this game. You know, I think that's going to be my only goal. Is I'd just like to finish it. Like, fuck these... Fuck these little toss pot chicken nuggets. Like, fuck them. No. <laughs> yeah, Alundra. <laughs> did, you, did you see that I didn't suggest it today? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm thinking more like, uh, more like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Well, like kind of fucking Scooby the Doo, uh, Scooby the Doo, yeah, Scooby the Doo vibes. I want to play one of the Scooby Doo, um, Scooby Doo games, or one of the Buffy games. Been watching Angel recently. It's okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm liking it. I just got to the episode where um, Angel uh, decides he doesn't, he, uh, he gets made human. Uh, Buffy, <laughs> Buffy tops, tosses Riley in the trash, and she's like, "No, this is my new boyfriend now." Um, oh, made me sad that Angel decided not to be, um, not to be human. Oh, it's just darkness down there. I thought maybe there might be a secret. Sue's not on my arm, not on my gaming arm. <laughs> Look at this little snoot. Not on my gaming arm. Come here, big stinker. Yeah, love you. Yeah. Very cute. Um. Yeah, it made me sad that he 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 threw away his humanity again. Because he was like, no, nah, I need to save the world. You know, we should have at least asked Buffy if she wanted him to, you know? Like, I feel like it should have been a joint, joint conversation. But Adriel was like, no, I'll make the decision. Kind of sucked. Ooh. Oh, was it the Scooby-Doo one, Alex? <laughs> There we go. Nice! Let's go get all the stuff. It wasn't the Scooby-Doo one. I think that's why I've got it in my brain. My Scooby-Doo is at the forefront. Scooby-Doo was very scary. Thank you very much. Scrappy Doo was terrifying. <laughs> they gotta get the character drama conflict, I know. And like, you know, would it they've only just started this series and they would have had to have ended it because Angel wouldn't be cool anymore. But like made me sad. Just wanted Buffy to be happy. 
And I did like how easily she just fucked off Riley. She was like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> this is my new boyfriend now. I'm done playing with you. I want to make sure we get all the jemmies. Because more gem- I think 100 jemmies gives you a new life. I'm hoping it does anyway, because we're, we're kind of short on them because I keep dying. Kaboof! Yay! Oh, or do I just lose them or when I do completely get a game over? I might have just lost them all, never mind. Oh really? Runs the DC comic movies. I guess it kind of makes sense that DC is a little bit darker, right? Hey Toa, how you doing? Good morning. Uh, it must have been episode 10, I want to say. Oh, do we want to go left or right? Oh, we'll go nah. through the door or through the, the hole. I think we go through the hole. Maybe episode 10? It's the one where do do uh, Doyle, um, Doyle does the thing. The one, the one, I've just watched that one. The one where Cordelia gets put up for auction is the most recent one I've watched. Oh! Oh, how interesting. Okay. Right. I didn't want to give, I don't, I didn't want to give explicit spoilers for... For it. This is going great. Oh, come on! <laughs> got it. Got it, lads. I got it. Why were you running away from me? What a what a prick. All right, off we go. I want to watch the comics, yeah. Or read the comics. Okay, I'm stuck. I've, it's, uh... The glitching isn't going very well today, oh, but is it? I, I swear I'm doing everything I can, he's not getting off of it. I did play this as a kid, but I didn't get very far. I think this might be a, uh, might have to be a reset. I think I have to, I'm hoping that it will have saved. It's a quick game. Let's just restart, um, reload the game. Yeah, yeah, pro gamers actually hold the get older. Uh, load game. This is just like my childhood. <laughs> this is just like my childhood. Time to start Croc 71. 
Why I never saved? I like you didn't ask me. <laughs> Go turn into a therapy session for me. I eat to forget. Thanks for restarting for those who for those of us who were late in the stream, no problem, right? Manifold, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Welcome in. I am far too spoiled. It didn't ask me. And then when I, I brought up the quit menu, it didn't ask me if I wanted to save. <laughs> Great, it's time for Silent Hill. Wow, my first time playing Croc ever. Never played this game before. Never. Um... All right, I'll speed run. Up. The password system? I figured it would be password in your save file, so your sibling can't take it. Skip more of this masterpiece? Oh, I would never. <laughs> Who suggested this game? Is it Greg? What level was I on? I was on level one. World 1 level, like, level 7 or something. You can save on the level select screen. I, I don't know, level like 1-5. What did you just say to me, bro? <laughs> Maybe we will actually hang on with the game. That's the password. <laughs> is there a um is there another one? Is there a level one five, one six, K fear? Oh my god. Is that right down, up left? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. This looks right. Does that look right? One five looks good to me. Let's save the game. That look that looks that looks right. Look at this. Lads, look, it's got like um I could say I, I don't know what that is. O E O E of doop Oh it says poo in there! I don't know. I have no idea what that is. But look, it's my Final Fantasy save files. Look at that. Like a little, like, there's Cloud, there's Barrett, there's, um, there's Eris. Let's, let's overwrite our, um, let's overwrite them, right? Should we over overwrite this one? God, it doesn't even ask me if I'm sure. Oh, we're 10% through the game. Nice. I've got no, like, gobos, though. Are these gobos? Or are the go gobos the evil ones? Uh, 
Unless you want to start Final Fantasy VII all over again. Do it! Yeah, we're at 0% Nugget. Oh, sorry, Mary-Kate. Yeah, never heard of Ashley. I only know the Olsen twins. <laughs> I hate this game. No. Herbal. Herbal, I will not have a nice stream. I have an awful stream. <laughs> Herbal, <laughs> I'll see you later. You have a good Wednesday, alright? I'll see you on Friday. Oh, don't you fucking fool! Enjoy the cookie. I can't eat the cookies. They've got soya in them. Frank has to eat them for me. <sighs> no, I want to finish Croc. I have to finish Croc. Final Fantasy VIII also does this. So if I used up all of the save plots, would we eventually get Sid? <laughs> Alex! You love Chinese food. That's your fortune, that you love Chinese food. Maybe it's suggesting, Alex, that you're gonna get Chinese food this weekend. Maybe that's the fortune. You do, I, yeah, then it's not wrong. Mm-hmm, or Suze will bite me. <laughs> My sweet baby would never bite me, unless it was by accident. A threat. Oh, so threatening. <laughs> you love Chinese food. <laughs> you fucking better love Chinese food. Hey, De Novo, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Sunday will be some. And the fortune did not lie. And gingerbread stuck in my teeth. Run, croc, run! No, we missed it. Oh, well, she she can't, but she she has. <laughs> she has stolen a fortune cookie off of my desk. Oh, I'm angry. <laughs> Why didn't he grip? He thought about it. Croc, croc. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna call someone in a minute, and they're gonna take you away. <laughs> gonna call Croc Protective Services. They're gonna take you away if you don't stop behaving. She has stolen a fortune cookie off of my desk before. Yeah, she likes the smell of them. I mean, I expect she can. You know, I expect there's nothing really that bad in the cookies for her. Apparently dogs can eat rich tea biscuits. They shouldn't. Like, they, they can, you know, they're not, there's nothing of nutritional um, value in them for them, but. <laughs> Crucial services, a pun that only works for. Crucial services. Yeah, she only stole them once. Now she, um... Now she has to check my little, uh... I've got a little trolley that I put them in. Now she feels like she has to check the trolley every time, just in case I've left one there. Nice driving, thank you. Thank you. Your mum taught me. It didn't make any sense, that was terrible. The walls have always reminded me of, you know, in a uh, Pocahontas. Yeah, you know the the tree, Grandma Tree, from Pocahontas. Always reminded me. Never seen it. It's all right. Yeah, it's got it's got some good numbers in it. Got some good, uh, good song numbers. Obviously, not very, um, not very historically accurate. 
So take it with a bit of a pinch of salt. I'd already committed at that point. I couldn't go back. Weakest Disney Renaissance movie, you think? I watched Mulan recently, and um, it wasn't one of my favorites as a kid. I was more of a Sleeping Beauty, um, Sleeping Beauty, uh, Little Mermaid kind of a kid. But ended up really liking Mulan. Like, I liked it a lot more. I was trying to decide what Disney movie I wanted to watch. Mulan was really, really good. <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Why? What do you mean it makes a lot of sense? Do I look like a Sleeping Beauty kind of person? I liked the, um, I like the dragon in it. Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin's good. Is this the Super Mario 64 for the PlayStation? You know what? Maybe it was. Yeah, I get... Yeah, I suppose so in a way, yeah. I'd say it was more of um I guess Spyro was PlayStation though, wasn't it? I'd say it was more akin to Rayman or Spyro. There's no there's no princess. We're saving uh so we were abandoned as a child. This little this little this little boy was abandoned as a child. And um the little chicken nuggets that we're going around and saving raised us. So we are going round and, you know, paying back, paying back our dues to the little chicken nuggets and saving them from the evil giant crocodile who may or may not be my actual father. Yeah, I suppose he's like Link. There's no big Deku tree though. No daddy, oh, fuck. No daddy Deku. I've never played tra uh, Trash Bandicoot. Jeez, that was like a that was that was a statement I didn't mean to make. Never played Trash Bandicoot. Oh, that's like a trash game. I've never played Crash Bandicoot. Wait, no, I have. Why am I lying? I mean, I've played the Racer game. I played the Racer game. Uh, I played all the demo for it anyway. Um, and I may have played. I played one. I feel like I've played one. I'm a croc stan only. I'll even lie about not- I've never played a single other game. I've never played Final Fantasy, I've never played whatever other games we're playing at the moment. Never played them. I only play croc. Never played cars. No, I think I must- I, I have like a vague memory of playing a Crash Bandicoot game on the Game Boy Advance. I remember it now. But that might have also been a Crash Bandicoot Racers game. I might have only ever played Crash Bandicoot in racing form. <laughs> might be better at Croc if I've only ever played this. No, well, you know, they say life is a highway. You know, you're always constantly learning. Hey, Miss Fluff Mr. Fluffington, how you doing? Good morning, happy Wednesday. Ah, oh, I haven't gotten there yet, Alindra. <laughs> it's not, not surprised. Not quite up to date. Um, I think I've got like 10, 10 or so games that I've got to put on there. Um, we are, I don't know what the last game would have been. Probably Christmas time? It was probably pre-New Year's that I did this. Never even played an Olsen game. Oh, who, who even are the Olsens? Uh, I'm playing on a PlayStation 2. I recovered it from my parents' house. <laughs> I recovered my old PlayStation 2 from my parents' house. Did not recover my old PlayStation 1. It. I swear I can hear something crying. You hear it? Like a squeaking sound.
I don't know, I hear it, but I don't know where the fuck it's coming from. Uh, a slim one, I think. Yes, Lana Attic, welcome in. It's slowly turning me mad. But it is a nice blast from the past. <laughs> the pivoting D-pad movement is slowly, slowly eating away at my soul a little bit. <laughs> but it's great. I should have saved! I didn't save! Why didn't you guys tell me to save? I forgot. It's fine. We'll only have to redo this level again if we fuck up. It's good. And thank you very much, Sepia. Thank you so much for the follow. It's too late now. I would not even... <laughs> Benny, I'll get in and be quiet if you could. You could just... Uh, the, the hot pokers are um, in the storage room behind the wardrobe bread. If you could just give him one of those again. And PS1 Attic, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you very much. Welcome into the stream, Sepia. Don't get stuck on that crate again. I will... Oh, Lord. I fucked it. Oh, no. Oh! Um... Didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Is there any way to, like, climb? No, probably not. Pivot. And jump. Ah, uh, we can't save from the pause menu. I wish we could. Oh, croc! <laughs> Am I saying croc or cock? Who knows? Oh, croc. At least we can save now, eh? <laughs> na na. Na na na. Croc! I love how it's got an exclamation mark after it. Like, whoa, a croc! Um, let's, yeah, let's save. I don't like that it even gives me an option to overwrite my saves on Final Fantasy. I hate that. Maybe don't touch the hot stuff. <laughs> Didn't realize your mother's in this game. <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. Well, the thing I need to do to do in town tomorrow go well. Ooh. Let me get me, let me get me ball. What a crock. <laughs> Alex, it is decidedly so. Yes, it will go well. What are you doing in town tomorrow, Alex? I'll be nosy. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be so. I would. I. I couldn't, Rinman. I couldn't. They would. We'd have to like do something about it. But I wouldn't. I could. I couldn't. I guess maybe outside a stream. I guess. Would I do that to myself? I suppose so. 60 hours outside a stream. Yeah, I, I thought so. I thought so. I would not even. I thought it was a nice one. Slowly does it, Croc. Slowly does it. Yeah, there's a good lad. Now run back. And we're going to get rid of all these boxes. Yep, Yazoo. Shazam. Chicken nugget. Right. I will not be taken for a fool again. Yeah. Come on. 
I've been taken for a fool again. Okay. There we go. I also quite like Cinderella. Just going back to the Disney princess topic. I like Cinderella. Brave is pretty good as well. I haven't played any of the Gex games. I've heard heard them highly recommended. He does have sunglasses on, you know, so he appreciates his eye health. I like that. That makes a lot of sense. What like what gives you guys the vibes that I like to like those ones? <laughs> Yes, I think as an adult, I think Mulan is my favorite. Let's see if there's anything else. No, all right. I'm gonna cry tonight, Vane. I'm gonna go to bed crying and going, what made them think that I like those Disney princesses? Oh, Mulan was good. Hey, Pumpkin Pie Man! Thank you so much for the raid! How was Milo's Astro Lanes? What is Milo's Astro Lanes? Welcome in! Welcome in, Raiders! I'm Captain Badgertail. We're currently <laughs> slowly going crazy. Playing Croc! <laughs> See, it weighs heavily on you. We're talking about our favorite Disney princesses as well. Pumpkin Pie Man, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you very much! I hope you had a wonderful stream and thank you so much for the raid. Very much for bringing all your friends over. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, I'm die. I knew that wasn't I knew that wasn't right. We only have one life before we have to restart the level. Right. Easy does it, bitch. Easy does it. Right, now turn, pivot, 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 jump. Cartoony 60s space futurism bowling game. Oh! Those are a lot of words that I didn't expect to hit together today. But I kind of. I kind of. Kind of sounds good. What, um, what platform is it on? Is it on PC? Oh, that. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh! We did it! Oh, yeah. Do the sis evil sisters also cut part of their feet off in the movie? No, luckily no. They just try and ram their feet into the slipper. I think my... Oh, hello. The Disney films that I like the best tend to be the ones with the best, like... I like the singing numbers. Yeah, if it's got a good song in it, it's all good. It's all good with me. So, you know, I'll make a man out of you, Mulan. This is love in Cinderella. Cinderella doesn't have quite as many bangers. But, you know, this is love is a pretty good one. Uh, Sleeping Beauty. Does Sleeping Beauty have any bangers, actually? Me saying, oh, if it's got a good banger in it, I like it. I don't think Sleeping Beauty has any bangers. I don't think it's got any. Oh, Ella. Um, yes, it does. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. I know you. Be our guest is Beauty and the Beast. Oh, ooh, didn't die. Be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin around your neck, Sherry, and we'll provide the rest. Hot the vores, hot hors d'oeuvres. Why we only live to serve. Tries the grey stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe us, ask the dishes. We can sing, we can dance. After all, miss, this is France. Oh no. Oh, that was pain. There wasn't many songs from the old Disney films that I didn't like. Tarzan had some amazing ones. Like Phil Collins, fuck, like he... He did amazing. And then uh, the Elton John ones from Lion King. Oh, oh, the fox and the, the fox and the hound. I was too, I found that too sad. 
Yeah, Phil was Tarzan, Elton John was, uh, was, um, thing of a, um, blanking. Oh, N64, I'm doing the challenge, it's a little dated in the mechanics, but fun nonetheless. I was thinking it sounded like a good Wii game. So I was kind of right with, Nin I was on the right lines with Nintendo. I don't know, bowling always reminds me of Wii Bowling, and that was just, like, fucking great. Oh, Winnie the Pooh! I loved Winnie the Pooh. Who was your favorite Winnie the Pooh character? I like sad stories. Oh, I don't like if they get too sad. Like uh, Lion King, not my favorite. Too sad. Oh, this one. Right. I like the Hercules TV series as well. Eeyore. Eeyore is cute. Yep. My favorite was somewhere in between Tigger and Eeyore. I used to collect ticket toys as a kid, so, which is why, I don't know, actually, I don't know if you can see them. You can't see them. I was going to say why my dog has so many ticket toys, because she's inherited them from me, but she's pushed them out of bed. Soft spot for Piglet! I had a bit of a, if, if you could call it a grudge, I had a bit of a grudge against Piglet as a kid. I don't know what it was. I just know if I ever had a mortal enemy. If young me ever had a mortal enemy, it was it was <laughs> I don't know why. I had such an intense just hatred of Piglet. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe he was whiny. I don't know. I don't really. I don't remember much about him. If I'm honest, but like, <laughs> it's the same as with um. With Mario characters, if I ever had a like a, a rival as a Mario character, it was uh, Princess Daisy. I picked the weak one. Maybe it's because <laughs> I really like sausages as well. <laughs> like sausages were one of my favorite foods as a kid. So <laughs> maybe I was like, "Dang, piglet looking kind of tasty today." Yeah, Susie likes Tigger as well. She does. She always steals him. Brother Bear! Oh my god, Brother Bear was amazing! The music? I didn't like the story so much, a little bit sad. I love the music. I'm gonna ask if you were vegetarian or <laughs> not. To be honest, um, if I had a choice, I would be eating... I would eat vegetarian sausages over normal sausages, but I can't eat soy, so... Just gonna eat piglet! <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> Cause I ri I think the Richmond uh, Richmond vegan sausages are the best sausages, but they also are they also give me the shits. So um, I'd eat vegetarians if I could. Well, you know, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh yeah, yeah, some good music. But again, too sad for me to watch. Like the music though. Oh dear. I thought if he pushed me, eventually he'd stop, but he doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Most solid food causes shits with me, probably. Yeah. I also like pigs in blankets quite a lot, and that does remind me of Piglet. The mouse coming to America, or um, like a Mickey Mouse, or Basil's great um, great mouse detective. I always liked the rescuers as well. But they were good. Oh dear, we're gonna die if we're not careful. I thought the music from Hercules was good as well. Zero to hero. Zero to hero. And who'd have thought? I also had, so I had a, a Disney's Greatest Hits CD and I used to put it on my <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean CD player. <laughs> I listened to it all the time. And there was this, there was this song called If I Was a Monkey's Uncle. 
No, if you were a monkey's uncle, I'd wish I was a monkey's aunt. Like some kind, kind of weird... Wanting to marry a, a monkey song. I, I, I don't know, I never really got the gist of it, but I really like the song. Give thanks Zero to Hero might be one of the weakest songs. My favorite favorite was the one, um, the one that Meg sings. You know, uh, I I won't say I'm in love. I think I had that song on an old Disney CD. Show us a monkey's on, monkey's on. I wish I married you. You were a monkey. I don't know whether it was that or whether I I wish you're a monkey and I wish I married you. I don't I don't know if she had like a crush on a monkey or something like. The Lion King OST on cassette, I play that on repeat. Oh, I have the Postman Pat OST on cassette. <laughs> I feel like yours is cool. <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and it's black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning. Something, something. Now that explains a lot. I fucking love Postman and Pat. <laughs> love Postman and Pat. I loved, um... Uh... What's his name? Uh... Rolly and... Uh, 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 Wendy and join us too. Ah, oh, na na na. It's so much fun. Playing together. The Bob the Builder. For the Builder, can he fix it for the Builder? Yes, he can! Scoop, Mark and Dizzy, and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy, join the crew. I also really love the hoops. Anyone watch the hoops? Might be a really British thing. I fucking love the hoops. They were on this, like, they were on this bus and it would travel around the UK. And they were, they, they were like puppets. You love the hoops? You remember the hoops, Haley? Hubba hubba hoop in hoopland. Ramble always far away. <laughs> Poddington peas. Oh. Yeah, I think the I think social media. Oh, I don't think I've ever done it. Oh, not a fucking water level. Jesus Christ. I think social media giveth and social media taketh away. You know, I try not to spend too much time on it, which is, you know, evident by my lack of, lack of posts. I just find that it can sometimes make me feel more miserable than happy, you know? Thomas the Tank Engine! I'd like a little Thomas the Tank Engine plate. Looking back on it, it was an awful show. Like the, uh, the, the tank engine that they bricked up because he was mean. The hoops were alien muppets who would go around in their little van trying to research earth phenomenon like rain. It was educational, wasn't it? Oh, Treasure Planet was great. They had no business making every single character hot in that as well. Yeah, the diesel. The, the, it was the red engine. They got really angry at him. Or he got angry at them and they were like, aha, all right then, we're gonna... <laughs> imprison you for the rest of your life behind this wall. Oh, I can hear there's a fella. Are they furries? The main character wasn't a furry. I suppose I did say everyone. I kind of just meant the main guy with the hair. Floppy hair. Treasure Planet game for... Oh, I... Haley, I think you're just you. <laughs> I think you're just awakened. I I seem to remember getting it in a sir, uh, sub, I seem to remember. How did you like it, Alundra? Not a fairy, but that was a Freudian slip, wasn't it? The main guy wasn't a fairy, all right. Ooh. 
Oh, Atlantis. Does anyone remember Atlantis? Desperately trying to get away from the treasure planet now. <laughs> I loved Atlantis. I had the uh, game on Game Boy Color as well. I have no memories of the Treasure Planet game other than the fact that I think, I, I don't know, I seem to remember having a CD that had Treasure Planet on and there was something to do with it. It's such a vague memory. I don't know how old I must have been. I wonder if it's the same game. <laughs> Freudian slip is sexy underwear. Oh my god, they should make those! They still got like Peter, Peter Freud on the crotch or something. Felt a little bit rushed. I liked Atlantis more. I find that a lot of movies feel rushed. I feel like I feel I like not not saying that I think things should be slower, but now going back and watching, I I'm kind of like oh, but you know you've only known him two hours. Why are you falling in love with him? Kind of thing, you know. I think some movies could do with a little bit more build-up. I hope this was the way I was supposed to be going. Kaboof. Kaboof. Yeah, maybe pacing. But I feel like they could do with being longer regardless. Yeah, pacing of Bonnet films is too fast. It's like I was watching uh, Night and Day. It's one of my favorite uh, Tom Cruise movies. <laughs> my favorite of many Tom Cruise movies. Um, my mum had a big crush on Tom Cruise, so I've watched, <laughs> I've watched nearly every Tom Cruise movie many times, um, so I'm well versed, well versed in tea, 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 crizzle. <laughs> what I'm calling him, tea crizzle. Um, so, <laughs> night and day, um, oh yeah, I do, I like, my, I, I do, I do think. Yeah, and my opinion on Tom Cruise outside of the movies is is aside from my like movie watching. Um, but that yeah, night and day. Ah, oh, twelve percent complete last save, so it's probably going to be a little bit um a little bit more now. I don't know how much we've got them. Fourteen percent complete. Um, yeah, like uh, Tom Cruise and um, Cameron Diaz fall fall in love too quickly. They fall in love too quickly. It's where I was going with that, you know. Uh, it's not what I want. Yeah. You. Edge of Tomorrow. Is that the one with Emily Blunt in it? I like the one with Emily Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. <gasps> oh, you can tell he's evil because he's going to eat that ladybird. Oh no, he didn't. He saved it. Oh. No, he genetically modified it. Okay. And gave it boxing gloves. That's the one. I do like that one. I think the Mission Impossible films are kind of a fun watch too. You know? It's a fun, inoffensive kind of thing to put on the TV. You know, it's something I'd watch at my in-laws, is what I'm... <laughs> ah! Okay. Oh. And I'd probably quite enjoy. He fell through the floor. That was that wasn't my fault. He fell through the floor that time. Um. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the mummy! I actually enjoyed that. I did watch that one at my in-laws. The bar of what my in-laws put on the TV. 
is pretty low. Suck creepy people. <laughs> Tootsie! Tootsie, thank you very much. How are you doing today? How are you doing on this lovely Windy Wednesday? How are your bowels today? The, yeah, the bar of what my in-laws will put on the TV while we're there is really low. Um, so I quite enjoyed The Mummy when I watched it because I was like, thank God. <laughs> thank God we're watching this and not something... Oh my God. Not watching something else. Gave up on the mummy when they had a universal IP. I thought that might be, you know, look, if they went ahead with that and had like a really good, fr isn't there going to be a Frankenstein movie? There is a Frankenstein movie coming out. Yes? I'm sure I've heard of it. If they'd like done a good job, they clearly seen the um, success Marvel had had with the like cinematic universe stuff. I think like a horror cinematic universe would have been good. I'm sure, I'm sure I've seen something about somebody being um, uh, cast as the Bride of Frankenstein. They should do a cinematic co universe based on Marvel comics. <gasps> they should! I'm sure I've seen about, I don't know why he kept moving forward then, because I was pressing the forward and he wasn't rotating. <laughs> Did I watch more of Andor? Yes, I have actually watched more of Andor, and I really like it now. It was something that I had to get, like, the first two episodes of Andor, shit. Like, I, I, like, awful. Genuinely, the, like, the, the pacing was egregious. Like, they could have, they could have just started the whole, the whole, like, thing on the third episode and nothing would have been lost. Like, nothing would have been lost if they'd started it on the third episode. So... But now now I'm on, like, now I'm on episode, like, seven, episode six, seven, and I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. I think it's great. I think the, uh... So it obviously is a little bit slower paced than, um... Kind of, I think, what a lot of people are used to with uh, TV shows. But I think that that is a good thing now. Because it's not boring. It's not like it's not just um, slides. It felt like a slideshow of watching people walk places with dramatic music playing. Um, now it's like actually interesting stuff. You know, you're seeing the political inner workings. You know, you're seeing how characters react to one another. It's really, you know, really good. Oh, with crispy Haley, or is it Warhammer reveal like like um <laughs> like models? Or are you meaning Crispy? Like Crispy's new movie. Oh my god. Well, that was unfortunate. I also, I think to be honest, I didn't super hate the new Mama movie either. I didn't think it was too bad. But then again, you guys have got to remember that I think Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is an amazing Indiana Jones movie, so I guess you have to take that opinion with a bit of a grain of salt. I watched it so much I broke my uh, broke my DVD. I think I've actually been quoted on saying that I think it's the best Indiana Jones movie with, that would maybe, um, I don't know whether I'd actually say it was the best movie. Looking back, I think I think there's, I do prefer some of the other ones, so. Oh, Lord. Boxing. Okay. The Revenge of the Sith is my second favorite Star Wars. I, look, I think the prequels are good. I fucking love General Grievous. My favourite one is the last of the original trilogy, though. Like the Ewoks. No, he got him! Fuck! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Where's the 
last time I saved just before this, uh, just before this level, don't worry. Oh my god, he's got a smash on him. Oh lord. Rotate, croc, rotate, croc, quicker, rotate. Oh lord. Wow. my breath. <laughs> this is tense. Oh. oh my god, he's going for his left hook, right hook! Ooh. That was close. Oh, come on! Please be dead. Oh, oh We finished with one. One Jenny. Oh. A defenseless ladybird. Don't worry, really turn back. He's, he's fine. Look, he's chill. He's my friend now. Wow. Croc is woefully ill equipped to defend himself in this game. Croc is just woeful. My favorite character in Star Wars is probably Princess Leia. I do like Harrison Ford though. I like Mark Hamill too, you know? I don't think I could... I can't pick, it's Princess Leia, but like... <laughs> he doesn't even bite. Yeah! Well, I guess I did get... I get. I got raised by loads of chicken nuggets, so like... I suppose, you know, all I've learned is how to be a chicken nugget, not a crocodile. Oh, Ice World, everybody's favorite. Oh, Christmassy though. The music's good. Look at my little feet. Oh, they're so cute. Will you mind finding out about it in the morning, Haley? I guess is the question. Sleep and set an alarm to get up for it. Oh, yeah, like sleep the first half of the night. I think I'd find myself getting groggy though. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, what's this? This looks like something, right? Baby dog. Yeah, like before Christmas morning kind of thing. I get you. I get you. Too excited. Kaboof! I do like the Obi-Wan Kenobi. I like Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan Kenobi specifically. That might be just because it's Ewan McGregor though. And General Grievous. Favourite. Oh my god. Uh, I have to admit, that was what I thought. Oh, I see, he shakes me off! I see, right, I'm an idiot. That was my first thought as well, Haley. Got my mind in the gutter as well. Hey, fuck it, I can't be bothered to get those three. My first thought, too. <laughs> all of us, all of us are just, our minds are literally in the sewer. John Sienna is taking over. How does he take over when you can't even see him? Apparently John, 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 John Cena? John Sienna? Really hates that meme I've heard. <laughs> oh dear.
Oh, the Clone Wars. I've wanted to watch the Clone Wars. I always thought it was a shame that the Stormtroopers stopped being clones. Big shame, I was a big fan of that. You know, talk about people hating things. I love how much Harrison Ford hates Star Wars. <laughs> Yeah, I wish they hadn't gotten rid of them, though. I get that they had, like, a expiry date on them. Such a shame, though. Harrison loved the paycheck, though, yeah. I bet he did. Oh! Okay, we're fine. That's why he came back, I expect. Is the actually I've got a fact checking um, something uh, something to ask you guys? Is it true that Har this was Harrison's first um, first role was in Return of the Jedi or not just in Star Wars in general? Um, is that true or is that just a fact I've heard on the internet and isn't true? It wasn't his first role, no. Okay, I heard that George Lucas. He was a carpenter beforehand, and George Lucas was like, Hey, I want to cast you in Star Wars! It didn't do what I expected it to do. I always thought Indiana Jones came out first, but I'm probably wrong on that. That's probably... That's probably completely wrong. Let's keep going this way. Indiana Jones is four years later. He looks younger in Indiana Jones. That's why I always thought Indiana Jones was first, and I was a little bit confused because, you know, not to, not to, I'm, you know, obviously not ragging on him. He looks, he looks younger in Indiana Jones. Maybe it's the haircut, I guess. Got your top. Oh, I sounded like such a mum then. You got your top. I just um I'm enjoying eating some tart. I'm not gonna no, I'm not making a joke. I'm not. I'm not. Not gonna make the funny that just came into my mind. Maybe I wanna keep these. That's fine. Ladies! <laughs> Fred, that always reminds me of the uh the Lightning McQueen um quote. One for the ladies! <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I was not Haley. No, no, no. That wouldn't be something. No. <laughs> How dare you compare me to Mr. McQueen? Mr. McQueen is an icon bread. An absolute icon. We're missing our red. Have we missed a gem somewhere? I think we've missed a gem, lads. <laughs> Please don't just slide off the edge. I think we missed a gem. Oh well. Never mind. Oh God, it's so fucking slippy. You know, um, so I was saying about my joints. You know, my joints have been, my joints have been hurting me because I'm elderly. Um, Greg was saying to me, oh, Badge, I hope you don't have a hard time with Incredible Crisis, you know, with your, with your hands not feeling very good. Because uh, it has some button mashing in it. I was like, oh, God, that's going to be a shame. This is, uh, I think this is worse, possibly. 
Because the, uh, the D-pad. Not good for my up. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't feel like, um, I've seen Harrison Ford in that much other than, other than Indiana Jones and Star Wars. Did he, does he done anything else? Dun, 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 dun. Blade Runner. Oh yeah, Blade Runner. I have watched them in Blade Runner. I have Blade Runner too. <laughs> watched them in both Blade Runner 1 and 2. <laughs> I also watched Mr. Ryan in that movie as well. He was okay. He has 84 acting credits, and I rudely can only remember, only remember three of them. <laughs> if we are pretending that I remembered Blade Runner. Lots of 90s stuff. There we go. He was the president? No! I want to know who cast Harrison Ford as the president. Oh my god. Jumped on that guy. <laughs> One called Shrinkage. Gary Oldman the terrorist. No. They... Harrison Ford is the president and Gary Oldman is the terrorist. Seen in Gary Oldman in anything recently, actually. Bad Prime Minister when? You never know. <laughs> maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll go for it, Brad. I can jump over there, probably not, right? 30th of June! Oh, I don't oh I don't know if it's that risky. Is it risky? I don't feel like because Kingdom of the Crystal Crystal Skull, as much as I loved it, was probably not seen as a, a commercial success, was it? I suppose maybe they're gonna stick it on Disney Plus and just like, you know, see how it does. Probably because it wasn't that good of a movie. If it was, don't, <laughs> don't disrespect Kingdom of the Crystal Skull in this house. They're like, wow, the croc controls aren't very good. You know what we should do? The put him on ice, make him slippy. <laughs> you know what'll make the game better? Slippy. I saw a Reddit post where someone's DM in Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeon Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons, had to end their session early because someone passed a DC 17 checks and hadn't planned for what would happen if anyone in the party succeeded. <laughs> you always got a plan. I say that as somebody who didn't didn't know what all those words meant, but um, is a DC check anything like a uh, like like you know like DC like Marvel DC? Maybe I'm supposed to come back with the key? I'll come back with the key. You rarely make back your investment in a 
250 million movie. I wonder, Rug, I wonder if they're trying to restart the franchise. Maybe, maybe it's not supposed to be like a success. Maybe the movie in itself wasn't supposed to be a success. But maybe, like, maybe it's just supposed to be reigniting the franchise. Oh, oh! I see something down there. I really like this Christmas music. You see that? I don't really fancy jumping down there to see- I do kind of fancy jumping down there. They hinted that Shia LaBeouf would take over. Yeah, because he took the hat, didn't he? Oh, piss bags. Ah! <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, I'm- I'm falling, so... Ah! Oh, is it false? Difficulty check! Oh, sorry. Sorry, I- <laughs> I did ignore you, I didn't mean to. Hey! He fell through! Alright, fuck it. We're not- we're not dying for this. I'm with you, I'm with you. I ignore- I ignore you all. You're just figments of my imagination anyway, right? <laughs> I- I like Shia LaBeouf's character. He look, like, looking back, yes, annoying. But when I watched it originally, I liked him. Don't exist. <laughs> you roll a 20 sided dice for most things in DD and then add your relevant modifier, usually between minus four and plus seven at the level this player was at. The DC is the number you're aiming to hit. Okay. Well, 17 doesn't seem too hard to hit then, right? Like the like they should have been prepared. I do feel like a grandma. I'm like, oh kitties! Kitties, what does DC mean? In this Dungeons and Dragons game? Oh yeah, the kid that played short round is now an Oscar winner. I think a lot of people, after he won that Oscar, a lot of people were asking why they didn't bring him back for um, Indiana Jones, the, 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 the movie. They were, oh, they, I saw a lot of people saying that it would have been nice to have brought him back. Direct current, is that something, something to do with the radio? Oh no. Rug, yeah, the Achilles heel story. Haunts my dreams. Oh. Yeah, short round would have been a good. Uh, that would have been a good idea. I wonder if they will have brought back Indiana Jones's wife as well. I don't remember her name. M Marianne. It was Marianne. I think I'm right. I was thinking DC Comics, if I'm honest. I think maybe, um, maybe with some DMs. I think they want the story to go a certain way. This is me. This this is like coming. It's me talking at my ass, by the way. And maybe they get a little bit upset when perhaps things don't go the exact way that they've been planning. You know, so hitting a check that you weren't meant to be hitting, you know, can upset them. Okay. Why are you jumping on some Oreo prep platforms? I've only played one D&D &D campaign before. 
here, we that see the true cost of global warming. This crocodile is reduced Cocked. to skating over the acid waters. Our <laughs> waste from the despicable watchmaking industry fills his habitat. Sadly, this croc will soon clock out for the last time. Is he deliberately saying cock? I swear to God, David. I swear he was doing that deliberately, Pixel thing. Sadly, this kilk. David, you can't just do that. Yeah, I've just done one. I've just done, just done a D. Just done a dungeon. And possible dragon. There wasn't actually a dragon, so it was just a dungeon. Nice kilk. Clock, I mean. David's a national treasure. I mean, I wonder what people would do if David just started like going on national TV and swearing. I don't know who David's successor is going to be. I think I've said before that I wish they. Sometimes I wish they'd use someone else for these wildlife shows because I feel like they um, I guess it's kind of like Harrison Ford they pull him out because they're like well this will be a guaranteed money maker you know because everybody loves David Attenborough does anyone else want to do it I'm sure there would be somebody I'll do it <laughs> just hire me instead I'll talk about like mating rituals of crocs of cocks Chris Packham. Oh, another crispy! Sounds like a YouTube series. What? Talking about mating, mating, ha mating habits of cocks. Oh, bloody hell. Joey Gipoop 1, Joey Gipoop 2. <laughs> Great, thank you. Thank you very much. Craig, I like to think that that was an update that you are indeed pooping right this moment. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, we did it. We're good. We're good. I thought I was going to fall. Okay. A New York croc firmly attached to someone's foot. I think I could do it. Oh, what was that? Oh. Great. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> that his character had actually failed the check. I think it's because they wanted the story to go a particular way and their check didn't align with the DM's story. I reckon I'm right. yesterday I wanted to say mm -hmm. but don't let him don't let them roll the dice I suppose they think it's the illusion of choice or the illusion that something else could have happened Koalas, kangaroos do not eat eucalyptus leaves. I need a need a check on that. I bet they do. I bet they do. I bet I bet if you had a, a kangaroo or eucalyptus leaf, that would be like a be a wonderful snack. Oh my god, look at Doki! Oh look! Do you reckon I have to ride the doggy? I reckon I've got to ride the doggy. Or do you think it's an evil dog? I don't know, let's find out. Hello. Evil dog. Good dog. <laughs> Eucalyptus leaves are poisonous, eating the mum's pat 
sap is what gives them gut bacteria to be able to digest it. I hate it. I hate the word pap. It's my new least favorite word. <laughs> you love Chinese food and you will fucking eat Chinese food. Oh, I'm slowly sliding off the edge. Pap is moist. Well, I didn't think it would be dry, to be fair. I did think it would be moist. Dry pap sounds worse somehow. Whee! Don't make me Google pap. Rug, what do you see? What color is pap? Well, the color is the pap. I kind of do want to Google Pap now. <laughs> oh, look, a little froggy man. Hello, froggy man. That froggy man had a fucking bazooka on him. How... Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. I do have a, an attack. Let's go. <laughs> Why not friend different shaped? I don't seem to be able to get rid of the Papa don't preach cause I'm in trouble Is that what pap means? Pap brings up a porridge dish for me Oh! Are you also a uh, koala otter? <laughs> Maybe it's been a ruse all this time You're not actually an otter, you're a koala Papa don't preach <laughs> oh, this is slowly driving me insane. I don't know how I'm supposed to get those. No, no. Be valiant koala all this time! Can't believe it. Just a pap gobbling koala. <laughs> Today Badger called me a pap gobbler. Very odd. <laughs> Words I didn't expect to say today. BRB <laughs> new account. What? Pap Gobbler or Valiant Aquala? <laughs> oh. Georgios Papa. Papa Nick Nico Lua. I think it should have been called a George. Oh yeah, I've got to go get my my George test today. My George smear. <laughs> go get my George smear. <laughs> Ghost Papa. <laughs> I always thought that your username sounded delicious, but now it now it now it doesn't. Pixels, thank you for gifting a sub to Pap E. Oh. 
I just died. I just died. Oh. Dang. Thank you, Pixels. Thank you. All about that pap life. Yes, I'm proud of my. I'm Captain Papa Tail. Captain Badger Pat. <laughs> Day work and now I can start on my tomorrow work. Oh, what are you gonna do tomorrow though? <laughs> the pap strikes back, return of the pap. Oh my god, it was papatine! Like palpatine, but fuck papatine. Oh. My good friend George's. Papanicolio. <laughs> David? David? <laughs> Sorry, David, <laughs> David's got a mouthful of pap at the moment. Um. I'm sorry to hear. I was sorry to hear. He overpapped. Oh, but thank you. He, he had a mouthful of pap and he couldn't eat. <laughs> He's all papped out. He, he, look, David's a very premium man. Yeah, premium doesn't always mean good, though. Papa New Guinea. Remember that day? Remember that day when David spoke with such clarity? I actually thought he was real. one day and it never happened again. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe it was a shared hallucination. It never actually happened. It's after all the pap we've been eating, you know? Please, Croc, just get up! I must have been absent that day. You missed a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful day. Are we just going around in circles? This was like a circle. Maybe. Yes, I think it is. Oh! Fuck that dog. Which bot would it be? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea what day. Like, I, I couldn't tell you. Can I use my key? Can I not? Can I use my key? Yeah, I think I did say I'd miss old David, and they were like, no, all right, all right, you miss old David, bet. I've got a key. Let me use it, please. Am I just stuck? Is this like a groundhog day kind of thing? Or I just slowly go insane. Papa, don't preach. I'm in trouble deep. Papa, don't preach. I've been losing sleep. But I've made up my mind. I'm feeding my baby. Ooh, I'm gonna feed my baby. Feed your baby pap! I don't remember that being in the song. And do they mean baby by actual baby? Or like baby like... Feed the baby to... 
Well, do they mean it in like a, uh, like, oh, 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 baby, you know? Maybe they ch <laughs> changed the TTS voice because it's so buggy, but everyone was like, no, we like the bugginess. Don't ask the questions you don't want the answer to. How do they get the pap into the wonton? <laughs> there we go. Look at his little feet go. He's got kind of cute. Why do they give him paws if he's a crocodile? Look at his little paws. Oh, really? I was in chat last night with a chef that had made wontons with a ghost pepper. That's an odd, odd. Wait, did you seek them out? Do you seek it out like on the cooking channel or the cooking uh, category? Do you seek out the the ghost pepper wonton streamers, or was it just a was it a coincidence? I thought I'd invented the recipe. Do <laughs> you put anything else in the wonton other than ghost peppers, or are you just just straight up ghost pepper? Total coincidence. <laughs> I exclusively consume content from people that make ghost pepper wontons. Ooh, with cream cheese. Ooh, I'd eat that. I'd eat that. That sounds good. I'm not sure about the goat though, it probably give me really explosive shits. Like, which isn't hard already, so we don't kind of want to rock the boat too much. <laughs> oh, you got sushi! Red, what kind of sushi? What kind of sushi? What kind of sushi is your favorite? Shrimp tempura. And do you have any to share with the rest of the class, Fred? I like the fried one. I like the pappy ones. Isn't there a song about a petite papillon? Isn't that a thing? That's a thing, right? You should have ordered earlier. They let you pick. I quite like a California roll actually as well. I know lots of people will argue that's not real sushi, but it's tasty. Yeah, the uh, the butterfly. Please. Don't. Oh, I'm losing the will. It asks me if I want to continue the game, and really, I don't. Really, my answer would be no. <laughs> oh, it's just one of the bad. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Pappy and don't preach. Hang on. You know what we're going to do? My own sanity's sake. Oh my god! What did I- what is this? Is this like Croc going off to his death or something? Because I click no? Does Croc just accept his fate and he's like, oh, it's time for me to die. Happy music begins to play. You made Croc sad. Croc is disappointed. Wait. Did I, did I click new game? Hang on. No, 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 no. Go back. I wanted to go back. Did it not? I must have saved, right? I wanted to go back and do some earlier levels. Witness a mental breakdown. This is... <laughs> I... I was so excited for Croc. And I'm not saying we're not gonna... I just... I just... 
I'm not saying that we're not going to play it again. Um, but it, it is, uh, it is a trial of nerve and fortitude. And um, patience. And happiness. And pap. You know, it's it's really, it's just, it's a, it's a trial. Um, none of which... <laughs> Should we do the sheep shouting lava, lava, lava? Well, who came up with these level names? Oh yes, I think I'll start. Level one, three. Shouting lava, lava, lava. Yeah, it kind of really makes you reconsider your life choices, reconsider your childhood a little bit, because I remember this this game being a source of great happiness for me as a child. Um... Seriously bad game? It's the controls. If the controls were better. If they let you use the little knobblies, this would be a 10 out of 10. As it is. I wanted to do some of the earlier levels that we didn't um we didn't get all the bits for. And um to be honest, I just wanted to leave the ice. You can't use the little nobles, no. You can't, you've got to use the the D-pad. And you can't even go diagonally. Oh, that, that, so there is a rotatable camera. Which is nice. But you can't rotate the camera while you're um while you're walking. You only you have to stop and do it. So if the camera moves while you're walking in a place where you don't want it to walk, well then, you know, just like, you know, fuck you, right? Kapow! Kapow! If this was emulated, you could use, use the novels. <sighs> Did we go down here? I don't remember. No excuse. Okay, right, this is important. Everyone, shh, hush. Oh my god, I don't know! Okay, left, left. See this funky music? That funky music's playing for me, not for you, because I got it right and you got it wrong. <laughs> I'm a sore winner. <laughs> It's a lyrical reference to a song I don't recognize. Maybe it's Lava Lava Land, like La La Land. Papitan. I am the Papitan now! They're chicken nuggets. These, are, these, these little friends are chicken nuggets. They raised me. These chicken nuggets are my, my parents. You can't call them abomination. Why you keep torturing poor Croc? What did he do wrong? He was not made two months later in order to use the dual shock controllers. That's what he did wrong. I don't know if we ever went down here. Let's see what's down here. Am I not allowed? 
you know what the shapes in the McNuggets are called? Gobbos, right? Because those are the those are the things I'm trying to save. No, I don't actually. What are they called? There's the boot, isn't there? You know, I could really go for some chicken nuggets right now. Muck nuggets specifically. I want my nuggets touched by Ronald McDonald. <laughs> or I don't want the nuggets at all. And I want some Ronald McDonald pap on my nuggets. Ball, boot, bone and bell. Oh, the, the, the quadruple B. <laughs> My nuggets infused with Ronald's pap, or I don't want them at all. You heard me, Jordan, you heard me! <laughs> this game's really driving me to something. Oh, I want to turn around. Just pick up the nugget! Can't pick up the nugget! Just imagine the uh, tempura of fish is just fried pap. <laughs> fried pap bread. That'll help. Oh, I'm just having a moment. Just. I like how they copied the annoying Mario 64 drum noises, but on the controls. It would have been good if they'd gotten uh, Charles Charles um, Martinez to do Croc, and they were like, "Can you like copy your homework, but just slightly slightly different?" Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that! Oh dear. The thing is, is if you jump too quickly, you end up doing a double jump. They had to replace one of the rare comical chemical compounds in chicken nuggets. Did it make a big difference? Pivot. Pivot. I saw they do a uh, McDonald's bags. They've got handbags in the shape of McDonald's fries. Thought I'd share that. I want the key. I don't know where I'm supposed to go get this key. Make it taste the same but with a more common compound? Why has McDonald's got rare chemical compounds in it? We also haven't gotten all of the jewels yet. Well, we can't, so never mind, I guess. All about the chemical compounds, all about the pap. <laughs> I can't stop, I can't stop myself now! Yeah, doesn't um, Coca-Cola make a special McDonald's Coca-Cola? Stone Nintendo's Rumble. Oh, in the um, Incredible Crisis. They let us use the rumble, the vibration. Shazam! 
I guess we can leave now. We didn't. We didn't die that many times. I don't know where I was supposed to find that key for that little that little chicken nugget. I wanted to do the I I wanted to do the sheep thing at the end of the level, but we didn't get all the uh, didn't get all the jewels. Was there something I missed from one of these? I think I missed a uh, missed on this one. Look at Croc's sassy walk. He's got such a like such a fucking sassy walk. He knows he's he knows he's full of shit, but he knows I'm gonna keep playing his his game. <laughs> What's the uh, McDonald's toy at the moment in the Happy Meal? If anyone knows. The UK toys are really shit. Oh! This is new. The UK ones are usually made out of cardboard. I don't know if this is new. Or if I'm having a, some kind of stroke. I seem to recognize this. We have Mario toys at the moment. Are they the paper ones? Ah, oh, so it's Chris Pratt toys. I got a book last time I went. Oh, my friend said that he gets books for his daughter. Are the books any good? Oh, those paper toys also known as books? No, I was actually meaning they do, like, they make the toy out of cardboard. But I suppose that, that I could have been making it funny about the books as well. Ay, 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 go back. Oh, oh. Get angry. Masked Singers Toys. But what? Do, do any kids watch The Masked Singer? Isn't that like an X Factor show? Do any kids go, oh, mummy, mummy, after we watch Eggheads, can we watch The Masked Singer? Oh my lord, I'm about to lose it on that little guy. Some people must watch it, right? It's been, you know, it's been going for a couple of years. It strikes me as a kind of uh, something you'd watch, something you'd watch with grandma on like a Saturday night. They know that most adults still buy the Happy Meal. The Happy Meal's good. Happy Meal's good value. They need to stop putting up the price of stuff if they don't want adults to buy. <laughs> or would you rather watch a Tom Cruise movie first? <laughs> Gunsel, you you think he needs to corrupt their fears. Oh dear. Look a little green around the gills. I play I played this as a child. Lawn darts. <laughs> I want my happy meals to contain weapons, alright? They can't put out cool toys for fit adults will buy them all. I did buy a substantial number of Happy Meals when they were doing the Pokemon. The, uh, the Pokemon um, cards. I, I, bought, I, I bought a lot of Happy Meals. Oh, Croc, please. Why is this a thing? And there's nothing I can do. Trying to determine which is worse. What air system was Gex on? I remember I uh, got home from having my um, my episode at the hospital. And we went and we got... <laughs> I got like... Um, I think... So we went with some friends because they were, they were picking me up. And um, 
everybody bought a Happy Meal so that they could give me the cards. <laughs> give me the Pokemon cards. So we were standing um, in the McDonald's car park. Me with one of those, you know, those hospital um, vomit bowls. Looking, looking like I'd escaped from the hospital, essentially. And they come out with like eight Happy Meals. The eight happy meals for us. Oh. Pay my happy meal tax. Exactly. Exactly. It's what required is what is required to be friends with me. You've gotta give me your <laughs> give me your Pokemon cards. <gasps> oh is it Mr. Lava Lava? Was that supposed to be the song? It's the la 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 da 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 you know, Mr. Bombastic. Really fantastic. The Amer America gets all the good McDonald's toys. I don't know if it's because in the UK they're like, oh, we're trying to be more, we're trying to be more eco-conscious, so we're doing, we're doing recyclable toys, aka paper. Um, which, you know, I guess maybe more environmentally friendly, but it also means they just get thrown away because it's, it's paper. Um, he didn't even jump. He didn't even bother jumping. Have a supply of those sick balls. <laughs> oh dear. Hospital sick balls are just. Oh, there, there is. <laughs> they're very special. They're just. Oh my god. They're just these grey balls. The. To be honest, the sick soaks through, right? Like, they're not water type. Born Slippy. Oh, fuck them. They knew what they were making. Oh, can we make a song called Born Slippy? They knew what they were making. Never had any issue with them leaking through. <laughs> Must be just my acidic sick. Your kids don't usually like the, pla the Happy Meal toys. Oh! Is it because they're is it because they're shit? Like um, I know when back in my day, you used to be able to get like dolls and stuff in the Happy Meal and everything. Is it are they a little bit poo poo? Need more pap in my diet. <laughs> what are they? What you got, Lost? What you got? Like, any, any Pokemon cards? Oh, I don't like. I, d I don't want to say I don't like train spotting because I'll be honest, I haven't actually watched train spotting. I've watched clips of it. And I didn't like the clips I saw. They looked a little bit. It looked a little bit intense to me. I was born slippy. Well, everyone's born a bit slippy, right? Because they're covered, it, covered in pap when they come out. Everyone, everyone's a little bit, <laughs> you know, fresh from the womb. You're always a little bit slippy. Why is Elmo's grumpy brother chasing me? He got upset that he never got tickled. Learned the word pap today. I feel like there's something up there, but I can't I can't look up, so. They did make a train spotting too. I think Greg's dad liked train spotting. That's why I say that Tom Cruise movies are usually like a, a blissful <laughs> a blissful break. Pop fiction. Oh. oh, I didn't know the pop fiction. Oh, I probably wouldn't enjoy watching it then. Greg likes it too. Mm. 
why I don't like watching movies at parents' house. <laughs> Everyone likes the movies that I hate, so I'm always I have to be the buzzkill being like, I don't want to watch that. You know, I just I don't want to watch a movie where, for example, someone's having an overdose while I'm trying to eat my dinner. I just you know I'm not it's not what I want to eat while I'm trying to eat dinner. You know. Or trying to do anything else, like sit, have a conversation, or, you know, live my life. That's, <laughs> you know, I go, oh, yeah. Yeah, let me eat my pap in peace. <laughs> oh, no Pokemon cards, mostly Marvel dolls. Today, stream was brought oh, to some you by Pap. Oh, some cars! Oh, letters, You got lightning. And the number 3.142. 3.14159! Pixels, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, do you wear the word PAP? That is our word of the day, PAP. What will our word of the day on Friday be, I wonder? PEP. Yeah, I'm tired of dark media, right? I just, I want to feel happy. I feel like normal, like all media is like dark media, you know? Like, I go on the news and it's miserable, and I go outside and it's miserable. I just, I want to watch a happy, nice movie where Tom Cruise runs. That's... <laughs> I, I am really hammering this, Tom Cruise. I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not set on definitely watching Tom Cruise, but... I, if I didn't see them when I was an edgy team, I wonder if I'd like them. Who's Tommy and why am I wearing his top? I don't know. You got rid of it in a charity shop and it looked comfy, so I just bought it. <laughs> looked comfy. It's also got a it's got a bleach stain on it somewhere. I can't remember where it is. On one of the oh, yeah. I don't know why. Loads of my clothes seem to get bleach stains on. I don't know. Susie releases some gas. It's miserable. Exactly. I don't want to watch someone falling on screen. Outside is not miserable. I mean, it is sometimes, right? Been quite silly lately. <laughs> no, but I mean, you drive round and there's all the potholes and stuff, and you're like, oh god, none of these potholes are ever getting fixed. And then you know, then you then you ruin your um oh a wheel bearing, and then you have to pay to get it fixed. It's terrible, it's terrible. Yeah, how about a show where a dog dies continuously? Ooh wee! Oh, what a treat! Keep paying enough tax and the road will be fixed and the road's never fixed! <laughs> I pay all the taxes! <laughs> oh dear. Where's the little chicken leg? I think she's in bed. Oh, look at that little chicky leg! Oh, the little chicky leg! Little chicky leg! She's got her eyes open. I can see, I see her little peeper. Yeah, hello! Hi! Hi there! Yeah! Am I talking to you? Oh! You beautiful lady! Hey Susie! You beautiful lady! Who's a good girl? What a baby! What a baby! Absolute chicken. She has such lovely colours, she does. She's like a, you know, that's why I think she likes Tigger so much. Because she's the, she's like the right, you know, she's got the stripes as well. Come on, you. Yeah. So cute. Oh, does that explain why some people are unfazed by other horror fiction hate horror games? Because it feels less like being at home and more like being immersed in the world. Ooh, I wonder. It's more immersive. She's got her fast stripes, little noodles, <laughs> little noodle stripes. <laughs> Are you a fast lady? Yeah. She's like, stop looking at me. Reminds me more of a little pork chop. Oh, it does look like a little pork chop. Right, let's save us. Um, let's save our game because we're definitely coming back to Croc, right? Maybe we'll be back to Croc. I don't know. If I say we will, do you guys believe me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
I feel like I want to finish it because I, you know, they, I feel like it'll be nice closure for childhood me. You know, like this is like a, you know, this is therapy, really, right? This is therapy. You have to go, you have to go through, you know, trials. You have to go through trials to get to the end. And at the end, you end up feeling really good and all your problems are gone. Yeah, it's like the five worlds of grief. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Is therapy being effective? Because frankly, you seem to be coming more evil than you started. That's just like real therapy then, right, Rix? <laughs> Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and pap. <laughs> yeah, look, we've got to go through all of that to get to the pap. And don't you guys want to get to the pap? Hmm? I don't know. I don't I, I feel like it'd be a nice closure for childhood badger, you know? You know, to do the... How far did we get through here? We got up to riot. Brrr. I'm presuming there's like six worlds on each. Oh, look. Wheel, be wheely careful. You get it? Because there's cogs that look like wheels and you've got to be careful. Oh, very funny. How do they come up with these jokes? What are you up to? Hmm? Are you licking your bum? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. TOS, ma'am. Very punny, very punny. Maybe we'll come back to it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I will um, I will confer with the uh, with our adjudicator this evening. She looks so innocent. You fooled them, Suze. They think you're innocent. Where's my controller? I'll turn it off. <laughs> dab dab. Dab dab. Oh, Rain Man, no, thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for being here, guys. We will uh, we will do a little raid today. We all will... Hmm. Hmm. Who do we want to raid today? Should we raid Stealthy? Stealthy's playing Dark Souls. And I feel like considering we have just essentially be play been playing Dark Souls. With the, you know, with a crocodile rather than a, uh, <laughs> a crocodile rather than a, a man with dual swords. I think this will be a good raid for us today. And we rarely get to raid Stealthy. Stealthy's, uh, Stealthy's been streaming for 11 hours now, so. <laughs> oh, cut, Suze, Suze, th stop licking your ass, all right? <laughs> Fucking modesty camera. Yeah, she's got great taste. Great taste licking her ass. Great. <laughs> right, we'll raid Stealthy. And I will see you guys on Friday. We're here for... What are we playing tomorrow? On um, Friday? We're in Final Final Fantasy! It will be our final Final Fantasy 7 stream on Friday. Um, no, you guys have a good Thursday, and I will see. I'll see you. I'll see you on Friday. About, I'm very excited. More original hardware. Um, it will work though. I like. We don't worry. The the disc isn't scratched. Um, so I assure you, I assure you, Final Fantasy will be happening on Friday, and you have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Wednesday. A wonderful Wednesday. A wonderful Thursday. Please do bring the pap to Stealthy. See what. See what the Stealthy knows what pap. You guys have a, a pap raid, all right? And uh, <laughs> please take the pap to somebody else. So I will see you guys. I'll see you guys on Friday. You have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for. Thank you very much for enduring croc with me. And I will see you on. Bye, guys. Bye. And everybody who is watching the vod, I'll see you in the papping next vod. I'll see you on the 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 next next vod wherever. Whatever day you're on. I'll see you later.